have been looking forward to this, chat. Oh, 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 oh. Have I been looking forward to this stream? No. Oh, oh, oh. Oops, I went to the wrong thing. I mean, forgive me. This is where I was going. Right here. Welcome to the stream today. We're playing matches. We're having a good time. <laughs> We're coughing, apparently. Not a lot. And, uh, yeah, life will be good. Medical card, thank you so much for the 10 months. Ting Wan, thank you for the two months. Lauren, thanks for the prime. Hans, thank you so much for the prime. Chris, thanks for the 11 months. Here's the U.S. Men's National Team beating England. It's called Soccer Berhalter Ball Deliver Us World, Club, uh, World Cup Glory. I promise I won't say a bad word about Greg Berhalter if we beat the United States. If we... <laughs> We, we could very well beat ourselves. If we beat England, I won't say a bad word. I always want to say a bad word. I won't say a bad word. I won't do it. John, thank you so much for the prime. I think this World Cup winner is... this this The winner of this World Cup is the Dark Horse team. I think it's more likely than usual because I think teams like Spain and Germany aren't real threats to win the whole world. I mean, they have a chance. But they're not in the top tier for me. I think France... Uh, Brazil, Argentina is really the top tier of the best teams at this World Cup. I don't think, uh, I think England's honestly probably the fourth best team at this World Cup based, based on form and quality and everything. So, I hey, only two more days of World Cup previews. You guys sad about that? All we have left are South Korea and Ghana. Uruguay came out this morning. That means the World Cup is almost here, which is awesome. But after 32 days, 32 days, of World Cup stuff. Well, 30 days of World Cup stuff. There's only two days left to go. What team are we? We're a team called Taunton Town. The Taunton Town Peacocks. And I was just adjusting our lineup to try and see how we shape up for the opening game of the season. I think it's going to be a little something-something like that. With Bradbury, Max Thompson, Makuti! Yeah, baby. Makuts. What a team. What a great defense. What a great mid four that we have. Daria Henry, Hallard, Lucas, Antwi. Oh, what a team. Can you run through the new signings? We will once the last new signing is completed. Uh, Jack Turner was not that last new signing. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll give him a try. We'll give him a chance. He looks, he looks fancy. Hi. What's up, Tim? We know how good Jack Turner can be on his day. We're waiting on Kinshella, who's a left back, a left wing back. We're waiting on him to sign. The Prince still active for uh, Ghana? No, he's not. Ghana's a really interesting team. Because they did what few national teams can do. They like recruited going into the World Cup and they made some signings. You know, like they made some They made some signings. What happened to McGiff? He wanted to leave. And there are not a lot of things that we can do to keep a guy from leaving at this level. Ben Kaninda. We like Ben Kaninda. Definitely going to keep him on the on the list here. I think Terrell Whitaker's about to leave, though. Michael Tate. So, no, we'll go ahead and let you go. Mungo Bridge. We really like Mungo. He's at Bromley in the league above us, but we want to keep an eye on Mungo Bridge. He's a, Eight months a talent. Up the Peacocks. Up the Peacocks! Callum Watts. Hi. How you doing, bud? You look good. We're financially okay. Can I get a... <laughs> Woo way. Thank you for the four months. Ollie Grocott, thanks for the three months. Is back three work? We're about to find out, aren't we? Wonder Kids, thank you for the eight months. You got the idea. We signed him again when in League One. Dude, Mungo Bridge, just he just looks so good. Tempolo Janika. Is he on? Oh, he is on trial with us. That's why we're getting notifications of the offers he's receiving. Chavez Munoz is one of the guys I was interested in. We'd have to move somebody to make this signing. Did it? Did we? Did I even get the inbox message of these guys' trials are about to finish? I really hope I did. We're playing the Aberbargad Buds. Terrell Whitaker, we expected that. We did expect that. Signed for Mansfield Town. There we go. Ryan Chavez Munoz. See, he's good, but he's not that good. 
They really liked him, 18-year-old Bauvian. You want to play for free? If you don't, then we're not going to have much to talk about. You really don't want to play for free, Ryan Chavez Munoz. Uh, Adli Muhammad. It's actually not a bad goalkeeper. You know, both those guys should stay on my free list, although I'm fairly certain Ryan Chavez Munoz is not going to be free for long. We're not going to have him train with us. We're going to let him go be a free agent and just keep him on our short list. We don't have, we don't have the money right now. Adley Muhammad's a good goalkeeper. We'll just keep an eye on. Always good to keep a free goalkeeper in your back pocket somewhere. Oh, we forgot to say hi to YouTube. Good call, Thargoff. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hey, YouTube, what's up? How you doing? <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. Hope you, uh, yeah, I hope, uh, hope, hope you're enjoying it. And um, appreciate you guys. I'm sorry you couldn't make it here live. <laughs> did, I get, did I get anybody with that debate? I hope I, I hope I did. <gasps> hey, YouTube, how's it going? Uh, yeah. Welcome to the stream. Sorry you couldn't be here. And I'm glad you were able to join us. Everybody else says hi, too. You know, we're all really nice here. So if you do want to join us at one point, you know, you can. We'll be very welcoming, I promise be perfectly fine twitch isn't scary at all we are not nice hey why are you, why are you tell them that now what are you doing what are you doing why are you running all right so they leave we play the aber bargain buds hello aber bargain buds I want this playlist, please. Uh, uh. Do, do. Lee Harkin. Oh yeah, we liked Lee Harkin, but we don't like him anymore. He's gone. Lee Harkin, he's gone. Yeah! And our offseason is complete with the signing of Lewis Kinsella as our attacking left back. Lewis, 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 Lewis. Okay, you get Lewis. Lewis. Lewis Kinsella. 28 year old left wing back, Lewis Kinsella. Lewis, Lewis. Charlie Davis, you aren't very good. We'll go ahead and let your trial end. And backup goalkeeper, Jack Arthur, signing for free because we need a backup goalkeeper. We only had one on the entire roster. We probably should have two going into the actual season. Can we welcome Kinsella? No, Makuti, can you welcome him, please? And then Zach Smith, can you go ahead and welcome my boy, Jack Arthur? So we have a uh, fair increase in playing time for Lee Lucas. And Jay Fulston. Fulston, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull that one off. But there we go. Full team in place. YouTube's going to be like high from 2023. Look at that. Makuti twice. Makuti three times. Harvey. Makuti four times. Makuti scored four goals. That giant guy, Dargbo, scored as well. This Brighton and Hove Albion match is our last friendly, by the way. After this match, we are done. We have achieved everything in the preseason. Could Arthur be a match winner? I'm confident. He ja Why are we talking about Jack Arthur? He's my backup goalkeeper. Fresh perspective from Lewis Kinsella. Really, we I got like one question about Lewis Kinsella who's gonna start for me at left back. Three questions about my backup goalkeeper. Can Paris play left back as a starter? He's not gonna play it as a starter because he doesn't have enough quality going forward and we need that and like a wing back on the left side, but Paris can play left back. We have four guys that can play left back right now. Three, four, if you count Fulston, but he's also like left center back. Danny Imre, we had an opportunity to sign him. We turned it down, so we're happy he's gone to, uh, he's gone somewhere else. Default shortlisted player, Ethan Wassel. Uh, get out of my face. 
Oh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, but there are a few trialists in there that are not training well. I... Okay, yell. Yell. Hi, I didn't watch yesterday's stream, but I... I saw you share a tweet on Instagram about Qatar hiring fans in the World Cup. Yes. I think they are legit fans because in countries that doesn't reach the World Cup a lot, they support other nations. I am Egyptian and I always supported Brazil because we didn't qualify a lot. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not reacting to that like that's crazy. I always love hearing different perspectives because that's something I would have not thought about, right? Because it looked so obvious and feels so obvious that those fans are like, you know, I don't know, there's just certain fan customs of countries that those fans weren't observing, but it would make sense. I think that I, I have... Look, I'm not on the ground in Qatar. And honestly, one of the main reasons that I, w if I did go, that I wanted to go was because I knew that the World Cup was going to be a mess in the first place and that it would be good to be on the ground to be able to see this sort of stuff firsthand and then have better educated takes on it than you're able to have sitting on the other side of the world. I would say that it is likely that Al Ben Kaninda has signed somewhere. Well, I want to I keep him on my short list. I like him. Yeah. I... I, I, it is likely that some of those fans do actually support that country um, or the countries that they are, they're there kind of supporting. But in that volume with that level of organization and the level of promotion that those fans are getting, that is what leads me to believe that they're fake. Right, I, I don't like. On top of that, I don't think anyone in the Middle East and South Asia is a particularly big fan of England. But I just if you're looking a for historical reference, right? I, I don't think San Antonio winning the USL, followed up by realizing I work through every single American match day in the World Cup. That's that stinks, Shello. Thank you for the ten months. I, I I think what is suspicious to me is not that like oh like you're wearing a Brazil kit and you're going to the World Cup because it's right next door and you're Egyptian, right? That that's not the suspicious part to me. It is the level of organization. If you are supporting a country that is not your own, you usually don't link up with two hundred of your best friends that are also supporting the same country and get a bunch of drums and a ton of flags and go walking down Main Street, right? That, like, it, it, maybe it's a different fan culture, right? I'll leave the door open a little bit to to that. But I also think that uh, if, if I'm going full, what I actually think is going on, I think Qatar sat there and they were like, we are going to make people say that these are not fans of those countries because they're going to be afraid to say it. Right. I mean, it's genius. It's so smart, which is amazing because some of the things they've done are so stupid, but it is it is actually really smart. I've seen the I've seen that we talked about the Danish reporter yesterday. I saw the Danish reporter. Uh, that's obviously that that's just not good. Uh, Mabete, uh, we, we talked about it in greater detail yesterday. Four concentration, 10 jumping reach, unathletic and incredibly weak. I don't get you. Filofose, Mabete, I don't. Keep you on the free list. Uh, Temple, Oshinaka. No, James Storer. No, and Charlie Davis trial finishes. Okay, so there are two guys that we want to renew their trials. Keep them on the team for the foreseeable future. Now, what does surprise me is the number of people that try to defend that sort of stuff, you know? 
Like, I, I remember one of the top comments on the, the Danish reporter thing was some guy being like, you know, oh, it's convenient that he switched to English. He knew this clip was going to go viral. And it's like, do you think some guy in Qatar is going to understand Danish? Like, he's, he's trying to talk to the guy next to him. He's not just going to start talking to him in Danish. Like, that's not going to work out too well. Bots? No, I don't think they're bots. I mean, I'm familiar with that kind of cognitive dissonance. I mean, it happens in the United States all the time, right? Uh, where it's like, people feel like if, if particularly if you're from the Arabic world, people feel like people dumping on Qatar. Like they, they can feel like that that is people dumping on the Arabic world and like, oh, they shouldn't have a World Cup or whatever. Like, that's not... Like, I, I love that part of the world. My, my, <laughs> my concentration for my history major was the Ottoman Empire. I absolutely love that part of the world from the food on down, right? Like, but it's, it's this Qatar stuff specifically. And I wish we could separate the two more in social media spaces so that those people don't feel like that they're, they're part of the world and their culture's under attack. Cause I feel like the people that do come to the defense of that sort of stuff feel like their part of the world is under attack, particularly, right? Um, the reporter had all the right to try to interview someone. Yeah, no, obviously. I, I think what the reporter said was perfect. If you sat down and tried to write something for the reporter to say in that instance, he couldn't have written anything any better. Where he said, you invited the whole world to come here. Why can't we film here? That's just perfect. That's just like, man, it sounded like a scripted thing almost. Like, it was freaking awesome. Uh, think of the cup as in Morocco. Oh, I freaking love Morocco. I've been to Morocco. I love Morocco. I think the World Cup should go to Morocco. That would be great. I think that would have been an excellent, like, step in instead of just going full, like, oil state first day. Right? Qatar is supposedly bribing a lot of teams. So I would like to address one thing. If Qatar gets a point, they didn't bribe the other team. I mean, they... No, look. If Qatar gets a point... Qatar is not bad, okay? Like, I've seen some people to be like, oh, they're bringing a semi-pro team or whatever. I'm like, Qatar got within two points of the World Cup on like three separate occasions over the, the last 30 years. Right? Like, they did, they're not bad. Reporting from conflict areas. So the reigning He's Asian brilliant. champion. So like, if they get, uh, what I'm really worried about and I know is gonna happen is Qatar is gonna get a point. They're gonna draw like Ecuador, Senegal, and people are gonna be like, oh, I paid him. Especially if, if I know the internet, especially if it's Senegal, they're going to be like, oh, they paid them. And I'm like, look, Qatar is really not bad. They're not good, but they're not going to show up and lose every match by five. Like, this is not Tahiti at the Confed Cup. They are competent. They can beat Japan and South Korea, and they, like, they're good. Welchree, thank you for the info. Appreciate the four months. Fierce Pierce with the year! Congrats on the gold thank you, dude! All-time Hammers legend right there. You see him? Be careful, that man's a legend. All-time Hammers legends gifted so many people who are in chat, their first subs, being part of the Hammers and everything. Just an absolutely fabulous individual. Uh, oh, this guy's available for loan, Mr. Dylan Kaji. He's not quite the athlete he was, but... Chez Isaac, you look like you want a trial, brother. Matt Lynch. Um, hmm. If you love big matches and wanted to play for free, I'd actually be down. Have you not seen the reports? Do you think the fixing reports are fake? I have not seen any fixing reports. If you can point me to a credible journalistic source, not a tweet, a credible journalistic source that is, that is saying that they found evidence, I feel like that would be a monster news story that I could not have missed in the in the in the the circle that I move in, right? So I'm inclined to say that there are no like well-backed reports right now. Kamari, absolutely not. Oh no! Kamari's been swayed! St. Albans has made a move for Kamari Paris. Hitchentown's going for Tom Sams, which is fine. We don't need Tom Sams. He was just gravy. Oh. <sighs> ben and I are recording a 20 Good Minutes episode previewing the World Cup tomorrow. So, yes, that'll be fun. 
Yeah, if Qatar gets a single controversial referee call, yeah, no, the, the internet will burn. I think that's unfair. There are plenty of fair criticisms of Qatar. Obviously, I make them on the stream and in the videos all the time. But you devalue it and make them feel, make them justified. Because right now they're waiting to feel, un, they, they, their case is that they're being unjustifiably persecuted, right? In the realm of public opinion. And if you actually unjustifiably persecute them, then you are making them right, right? So the key is go after them for the things that are freaking obvious, like stopping people from filming and terrible guest accommodations and just, you know, everything else they're doing wrong. Well, like massive violations of my migrant worker rights and those things. Also, I picked the charity that we're gonna be raising money for throughout the World Cup. We're gonna do it for Amnesty International. I feel like that's the best one to do. Where you know where the money is going to helping people that are in difficult situations. That, that's that's who we're that's who we're gonna raise money for to to counterbalance our um potential sports washing and watching the World Cup to begin with. I'll be we're we're gonna raise fifty thousand dollars. I'll be donating a thousand dollars to start it off. Um and then we'll go from there, right? Make sure I can still put food on all of our editors' tables and everything, but that's the idea. <laughs> AZ hey, saw your Qatar World Cup vid and loved it, uh, but had to disagree with El Moez Ali being the star man. It could be Akram Afif all the way through. I don't know. I've watched him. El Moez Ali is the guy that jumps off the screen to me when I watch him. Oh, Kamari Paris. I can't make you a regular starter. Please don't make me do this, bro. Okay, I can give him money, so he's down for that. What if I gave you that and I gave you a solid sign? I want to keep Kamari Paris on the team. I really want to keep Kamari Paris on the team. Come on, Kamari. Sign the deal, Kamari. Sign the deal, Kamari. Oh, goodness. That was close. Well, let's see if he decides to stay. I'm sure St. Albans is throwing actual money at him after the way he played last year, too. Okay. I should set up our kick takers as we go into the point of the season. Start knocking the ball past opponents. Yes. Try to avoid using his weaker foot. We could try to develop it. What's, what's his weaker foot rating? Yeah, it's not that bad. Start developing his weaker foot. He's one away from uh, reasonable. That's perfectly fine. We can live with that. Flober, thank you for the three months. I was the one who updated the stats to the guitar team for this FM always is great, but Afif is truly their best player. Who works as an okay. For Twitter, and I, asked him how I don't disagree that Afif is very good, but you he know. Told me he can't complain. You probably watched the more that I have, Drago. But I have watched. Alex, thank you for the 14. I have a close friend who works in your Twitter. I don't think you're going with a new boss. He told me he can't he told me he can't complain. <laughs> B plus, that was good. So apparently Kinsella is just going to be taking all of our set pieces now. Nelson Isiguan. Yeah, I get it. You have issues with our standard of coaching. Well, I have bad news for you. I'm a terrible coach. No, literally in the game, I'm an awful coach. So, captain for the season, we are going Warwick and Zach Smith. Maybe we should make it Kamari. Uh, we don't really have a hierarchy at all. Harry Warwick is just balanced. Uh, it's amazing. I don't know if I've ever had a team that just didn't have a hierarchy. We've got nobody in the hierarchy. Chesnut's our first match of the year. So we have our first match in like five days. Arnold Mashazi? No, you're not the guy. Babese? Who is the guy? Less than. Nice. NJM, thanks for the four months. Did you mean to type more? 
But you wait to go pro before you can get the badges. Now, I've asked for the badges multiple times. They just said no. So. We, even though we're in a decent financial position, they just are, they're just saying no. Oh, come on, Lee. We're about to kick off. Wow, the Brighton U21s just abused us 3-0. Lee Lucas is out for two weeks with a tweaked back, which means we're going to have to switch our opening day lineup up. Um, okay. I'm thinking we replace him with we could go Jake Evans or Rob Evans or Joe Ling. We could go Joe Ling. Uh, he's more of a positional guy and less of a tackler. Uh, or we could go Kamari. Pa no, 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 no. We're looking for the passing side, dude. Antwi's already back there as the defensive guy. So let's just go Rob Evans. Rob Evans, Lewis Kinsella, and set piece takers. Right. Give me a little quick pick. Really, Chez Isaac right now? You're going to hit me with Chez Isaac. He's not even on the team. Goodness. Uh, right foot, Jake Evans, Lewis Kinsella, Jay Fulston. Yeah. Alright, free kick taker. That is all Lewis Kinsella and then Jay Folston, who is really a creepily good. Is that the right word? He's a creepily good free kick taker. For this level and for a random, like, no, no nonsense left back to have 12 free kicks. That's creepy. Ja, thank you for the two gifted wow. subs. Dude. Oh, you left the Peacocks? Oh, no. I did not. No. We have a new team. We signed a bunch of new guys. <laughs> Zealand at the wheel. We, we would never leave the Peacocks. At the end of the day, it's a shame we can't enjoy the best show on earth without all these elephants in the room. I agree with that 100%. Eerily good. Sneakily good. Sneakily good is probably the best way to word it. So he's a sneakily good free kick taker that you wouldn't expect because he is not supposed to be good. Certainly not supposed to be good at all that nonsense. The free kicks and the, the technical qualities. Oh, wow. We get going fast. Chess Hunt and then Welling. Barrow in the National League wants Jack Turner. Alvaro Morata's switched to Juventus. That dude's played for every major team in Europe. Sometimes twice. Three wow. thanks to the gifted to Psychaotics. Welcome to the Hammers, Psychaotics. Reed, I appreciate it. Where did the team finish last season? We finished third. Uh, we finished third in the league. Uh, we were three points off a league title and automatic promotion. If we had won instead of lost our final match in the last day of the season, we would have actually won the league on goal difference uh, and automatically gone up. We obviously failed that, and we uh, then went into the playoff, got to the playoff final, and then despite scoring the second most goals of any team in the league over the course of the year, we did not score in the playoff final and gave up a really soft penalty, like an unbelievably soft penalty, and lost 1-0 to Oxford City, who get to go up to the National League. But that's okay. You know, we were the surprise team last year, we're not sneaking up on anybody this year. We were the surprise team last year. We're not sneaking up in the, uh, we're not sneaking up this year. Now this year we're legit. Why is everybody training poorly? You guys just need to get into the groove of things or we were doing so well at the end of last year and now you're all getting wild and crazy on me. Marcel, Harry Palmer, Rob Evans. Kaimani Hunter. Oh. Zach Smith. Ben Bailey. Our 8,000 8, central midfielders. Or defensive midfielders. <coughs> Lewis Kinshella. Nope. Okay, Chesson. Here we go. Ready to kick off the new season.
Do you get league position money? Absolutely not. Oh, now Hitchin Town's rolling up. Another semi-pro team now. Oh, Kaimani Hunter's getting interest. We like Kaimani Hunter, though. Who is it? Hampton and Richmond Borough? People are trying to steal our non-contract guys. But you know what? They want to stay. They want to stay and they want to play here. I can, I can just... I can smell it. Owen Hesketh, Jack Turner. Okay, those were expected losses. Hesketh, we had the opportunity to sign a couple of times. Uh, we didn't take it. He was kind of right on the line for us. Definitely a good player. Okay, let's start this season hot, dude. Oh, wait. Our backup goalkeeper went to the U21s like every freaking player on this team. Um, it's not you guys, but you guys. Make sure everybody's on the senior team. Thank you. Everybody's got to be on the senior team. We need we need our full roster. We have enough players, I think. Um, a lot of these guys are non-contracts. So we're not making terrible financial decisions. It is kind of funny to look at, though. Let's see. We have... Uh, it's going to be interesting figuring out how we want to do our subs. right? We could go Jake Evans is the guy that we want around here. Kamari Paris. Uh, we want a striker, and that is going to be either Warwick. I'm going to go with Harrison Knee to start the season. Or, yeah, no, I'm going to go with Warwick. I want us to get off to a winning start. We trust Warwick a little bit more. We've got Bradbury, McCoody, and Thompson up top. Paris, Evans, who can play a little right back. Paris can play a little left back. So we do want to get a power winger in here. That is see you on is that I don't know, is it Joe Ling? For greater depth there. Our center back sub is gonna be Burroughs. I like George Burroughs. Our super powered offensive winger is going to be a Siguan right now. <laughs> Uncle Big Bear, they give the 13 months. Faces? Oh, uh, we should add the faces, yeah. Remind me after this game. I want to play the first match of the season, but we have the faces for a lot of these guys, like Daria Henry, Ngapisi. I think we have Wannell. We definitely have McCoody. I don't think we have Thompson or Nico Lawrence or Palmer yet, but we can add those faces into the game. I'll show you guys how to do that. We'll start on attacking. We're going to do that. Start on attacking because we're playing a team that I feel like we should beat. Actually, no, start on balance. We have such a naturally aggressive formation. Now let's take a look at our set pieces because we have weapons out there now. Harvey Bradbury is the latest in a long line of those weapons. Max Thompson should be back there. Lurking outside the box should be Cameron Antwi, and we should have those guys up. Because those guys actually get involved a lot more. So striker left is the focus, striker center, and then striker right's back post. You're there, you're there. All right, that's how I want to do this right now. Captain's not been selected. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Lewis, uh, Lewis Kinsella literally got here two weeks ago. What could possibly go wrong? Neither, nobody has a preferred number. Cool, we can give them nice, nice high numbers. Nelson Asiguan. You get 85, Lewis Kinsella, you get number 94. Beautiful high numbers. <laughs> Squash, thank you for the prime. You guys ready for the new season? <sighs> Have fun and enjoy the match today. Here we go. Our potential promotion season right here after coming oh so close last year. I wish we had Lee Lucas for the opener, but we don't. Up the Peacocks. Wannell. Oh, nice ball. Oh, it's Nick McCoody in the opening seconds. Good season. Makuti is back. Wano with the lofted ball. Makuti brings it under his spell. Big time finish.
He's honoring the number 20, that's for sure. Nico Lawrence up to Harvey Bradbury. Evans, Thompson, got it wide. Daria Henry, Nick McCooney. Free kick. Oh, he's offside. Oh, swaggering around, aren't we? What are we doing? What in the world's happening? How did that... That was scary, and yet I knew the ball wasn't going in. Palmer. Oh, great header. We are such a problem. Three guys with at least 12 jumping reach that are accomplished, like, aerially. You know, with their aggression and their bravery. And all that stuff. Like, there is no defense in this league that can defend against this size that we have. Adding Bradbury is just unfair. Nice header. Like, we could just do that all day. Evans, good ball. Max Thompson. Oh, Max Thompson. Daria Henry. McCooney. That's a foul. Yep. Ref. Left a foot in on Kinsella. We look good. It's McCooney. How do we not have a better penalty taker, dude? Jake Evans is our best. All right, Nick. We don't have Lee Lloyd James this year. This is all you. Oh, beautiful pen. Oh, it's a beautiful pen from Nick McCooney. Sends him the wrong way. Wraps, you know, wraps those hips around. I think this is going to be a really fun season. The way this tag. Oh, nice save, Palmer. Bit late getting over. But we don't have Bycroft anymore. We've got to rely on our boy Palmer now. Atta boy. There you go. Way to get out there. Up the torrent. That was one way to start a match. Two goals in the first five minutes. Absolutely put them under siege. Kinsella. Um, no. Dang. Bro, thanks to the four. Uh, okay. On your horse now. Oh, we're there. We got to be there. Ingapizzi. Excellent work. Rob Evans. Mr. Box to Box. Lewis Kinsella. Harvey Bradbury. Oh, that's rough. But Kinsella. Oh, Kinsella. Atta boy. Look at Jake Wannell. Kinsella. Oh, he should have taken it out wide and just hit a nice early cross. There we go. Thompson. He's got help. Oh, he goes quickly to McCooney. First half hat trick for the indomitable Nick McCooney. Yeah, I think my new tactical plan works wonders. Nick McCooney with a hat trick in 32 minutes. Our facilitating target men, Max Thompson and Harvey Bradbury, having a field day. That was an excellent ball by Max Thompson. Okay. Ingapizzi, nice. Thompson's got options. He's got Harvey Bradbury. The defense isn't ready for it. Harvey Bradbury took him forever to get that ball under control. Oh. Watch out, Harry Kane, dude. McCooney is on the fast track. He is on the fast track. Premier League in two years. We're not going to be able to keep hold of him. Oh! That ball had great action. I thought that was going in. Well, that's... Um, that's certainly one way to start the season, huh? Oh, that was a good ball. And good defense from Daria Henry. Here they are, Palmer. Atta boy, Palm. Er. But he used those palms. Just like your ancestors intended. How do we 
let that through? How in the world do we let that through? Oh, we have everybody in the way of this. What? Nico! Nico Lawrence, you are a center back. Just kick the ball, dude. Oh, we were cruising. A clean sheet would have been nice. To beat on our set piece defense. Okay, anybody tired? We do have a complacent 6.5 on Cameron Antwi. We'll get him out for Kamari Paris. And let's see, we're going to need to counter complacency apparently early and often this season. Okay, with that for now. We do have another match coming up. So maybe we go George Burroughs for Nico Lawrence. Make sure the legs are fresh. Probably do a wing back sub with our third, bring in Evans, Jake Evans. Got to specify on this team. Mine. That boy, Nico. Oh, Ant Lee. Come on. Somebody? Anybody? Thank you. Okay. Uh, corner defense. I want Thompson to be a part of it. I think it'd be a mistake for us to leave any of our taller lads out of the picture here. Waddle's marking tall player. That's fine. We just, I just want to make sure that we have all of our tall lads right across the top of the box because we're a very tall team. We shouldn't get beat on these situations. Can I post a Twitter post? You have my permission. I have no idea what you're posting about, but you have my permission to post on Twitter. Thank you for asking, by the way. How do you pronounce Chesvent? Yeah, Brit Bros. Can we, can we, oh no, nice block. Can we source from the Brit Bros? How do you pronounce the team we're playing against? Chesh Unt? Probably not. Ches Unt? Where's the emphasis? Is it like Ches Unt? Or Ches Unt? Ches Unt. Silent H, okay. Chess hunt. Complacency running rampant on the side right now. Oh, Paris. Chessant. Okay, I feel like I'm on it. Chessant. Thank you, Assembled Brit Bros. Oh, that's Imre. That was the guy that was on trial with us. Oh, Rob Evans missed. Thompson, way to stay dedicated. Oh, Kamari Paris, no. Daria Henry, Ingapisi, Makuti. Oh, we're on that, Ingapisi, Rob Evans. He's got Makuti. Makuti! Oh! <laughs> I would have lost my ever loving mind. That ball went in. Uh, Jake Evans, you get Daria Henry, please. Do. Do you do? This is an encouraging start to the season right here. Excellent result. Oh, Thompson. Exceptional work. <sighs> We're just guessing as well. Fair. Ken Opplinger, thank you for the year. Oh, Lego Dust coming in with a 13 months. <laughs> Appreciate it. Is Jeffers still at St. Albans? Anniversary. Probably. He was their I'm leading scorer, me, right? I guess not because I get to watch you live for a bit. Hey, Zed. How's things, buddy? Special shout out to my wife, Yvonne. Please, Zealand, it's her birthday today. Smile. Hey, Yvonne. Welcome to the... Uh... <clears throat> no, I'm not... What should I say? <clears throat> What's up, Yvonne? Happy birthday! You don't look a day over the age you were last year. And I mean that. Have a great day. Thanks for letting your significant other hang out with me while we yell at a game together.
I, I don't think we could have done any better with that chap. I don't think we could have done any better with that. I say it's title or bust this season. I agree. I mean, you finished third last year and then you kind of go out and you make it a bulk, you know, a bucket of signings and things start to come together for you. And let's review those signings for people that, that missed out perhaps at any point. Um, these are the guys that wait, what? Yes, these are the guys that joined the team um, this season. And then, of course, if we look at last season, there will also be like a large collection of guys that we signed at the end of last season. Uh, the first signing was George Burroughs. We like this guy. He's not bad at anything, and he's certainly incredibly tall. So late in games, if we've got to deal with a really tall opponent, he's somebody we can stick in the middle of our defense because Nico Lawrence isn't particularly tall. Um, we do also have... Uh, whoop, da, 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 da. We signed Malachi Reeve, very similar type of player. Uh, he's just worse, but similar type of player. Our new goalkeeper is Harry Palmer. Brought him in, very well-rounded. Not great at anything, but just he's solid. He's good at everything, and hopefully uh, that is enough to replace our legend. Harry uh, Harrison Knee, a, a fast forward who has already gotten worse since he came over from Coventry City, but... He's the replacement for the pace forward off the bench. I actually liked Harrison Nee a lot, but him getting worse is not helping. Tianola Ingapizi. This guy we're a huge fan of. Uh, he is a very good passing center back, which is super rare at this level. So he starts on the right side of our back three. He's given license to be more aggressive with the ball when he picks it up. So, yeah, anticipating an improvement of club's facilities in the near future. Well, I have terrible news for you. We have convinced multiple people to sign for us by promising an improvement to our facilities that is not going to happen. We've loaned in Josh Hallard for free. He's a left wing back. He's got some skill going forward. Got some limited skill defensively, but we're fine. Marcel Elva Fontaine, who is a rotational right wing back for us. Good defender, not good going forward. He is more of a depth piece. My boss has threatened to fire the employee with the And Rob Evans, posture. one of the most balanced midfielders I've seen at this level. Tips King, thank you for the year. <sighs> I have a hunch it could be me. Well, if you have a hunch, Alfie Sanders, uh, backup right wing back. We needed to sign multiple right wing backs, left wing backs, because that's the system we want to use. Starting forward, Harvey Bradbury. Just a, a big lad who moves well and isn't bad with the ball at his feet and works hard, which is a huge key for us. Jake Evans can play the right wing back and the defensive midfield spot. We really do like Jake Evans. Super balanced. Nelson Isiguan, very offensive option. Incredibly offensive. Potty mouth. Uh, but <laughs> an offensive option at left back. Very offensive guy. Uh, Natwi, who is the best midfielder, maybe in the league. He is an incredible athlete. He can pass the ball well. He is very adept at taking the ball away from the opposition. I just, I love him. Luciano Diaria Henry is the left wing back. He is, or the right wing back, sorry. He is a star, superstar. Nico Lawrence is our central defender. Right in the middle of that defense. He's a little short for our taste, but he's smart. He's athletic. He's a technically gifted defender for this level. And so he's he's the guy that we stick right in the middle to clean everything up. And, and then Lewis Kinsella is our attacking left wing back who's on the team. And Jack Arthur, our backup goalkeeper, who is actually quite fast. And I wish he played wing. Those are our signings. Y'all rate generously. I wanted to give that one a B. That wasn't bad. Don't let previous ratings affect your current ratings. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. Lola Lehan. Well, he's got great potential, so good thing we can't develop anybody. Harry Jewett White. Jack Singangoyi. Maybe a hoss at this level. 
Liam Vincent. I can't wait until I don't have to say at this level anymore. I feel obliged. We ready. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. We ready. We ready for promotion. We ready. All right, Kanye. Short list. Where he's named after the rapper? Probably is, right? There's no way you're just like, I'm going to name him Kanye, but for another reason. It's like, man, I just really love the song Gold Digger. You know, and I just wanted my kid to embody that. Weird player. He makes me uncomfortable to look at. I'm going to say no. Will Twitch Prime sub for quick loan? Uh, will, will, I will Twitch Prime sub for a quick loan, Chorus. You got to have faith. You got to sub and then hope that the chorus is coming. Wait, they've, oh, they're have they going to make me pay actual money for Max Thompson? Oh, they are going to make me pay actual money for Max Thompson. Max, you better stay here. You're literally one of our starting forwards. Not even figuratively, Max. You are one of the starting forwards on this team. You assisted a goal in our opening game, Max. Don't do this to me. Him and Kamari Paris are currently on. They're deciding where they want to play. That is an, an uncomfortable position to be in. Tom Sams rejects the contract from Hitchin Town. Kamari Paris commits his future to the club. There we go. Thank you, Kamari. One of the fan favorites. A great ball-winning player, no matter where he is on the field. Uh, okay, Lee Lucas still hurt, I'm assuming. Yes. Let's take a look at the team we had. Jake Wannell playing left-sided defense. No longer available. And that is where we bring in Jay Fulston. And then we're going to go into next match. Oh, that's fine. It doesn't really change anything. All matches, I definitely want to have all of my strikers there. And I want to have all of my strikers Hi, Zealand. There. First Hi. time tuning in since FM23 was oh, released. Oh, nice. Welcome. What have I missed? Good to see you doing an English low-level club as I've got a 13-tier English database, so I am starting way down. Not going to be easy safe, but I want to try and push to Prem. No, it's not, yeah, that's that's definitely not an easy save. But thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Fierce, oh my goodness, Fierce Pierce. That was a $50 donation. That was $50. That 13 tier climber is definitely going to be tough. I know like the FM really can't necessarily project what a match is like at that ability level. So things do start to look weird when you get to there. Um, do we want to go with Harrison Knee or do we want to keep McCooty here? I'm going to I'm gonna move Bradbury out. We're going to go Harrison Knee, Harry Warwick, Max Thompson. Uh, should we do that? We're home against Welling and we have Chesham away. Yeah. We should rotate liberally. Trust our players. Well, that's why we built a very deep team. We should trust that team. I have to say, not even sorry. At this level, thank you for the three months. Faces. Chat, you caught it in the. Uh, did you catch it in the nick of time? Yes. Faces. Can you use your skin pack if you're playing through the game pass? Appreciate the streams, my boy. All right, let's get these faces up here. So we have, can you what? What was that question? Can you use the skin pack if you're playing through the game, the, the uh, skin pack if you're playing through the game pass? If, as long as you can get to the files of the game, then you can. As long as you can get to the files of the game. So we need to put faces on our players. 
very th this is important uh use cash and slow times i have to reload the skin in order for this to show up to see lynn see linda see linda all right so reload the skin we need to get faces on like all of our players so starting with palmer there's harry palmer all right we're gonna save harry palmer to football manager graphics faces and we'll do like custom faces. And this is Harry Palmer, 95037A. Oh my goodness. No way, JLab. Did you actually send these to me with file titles? JLab, best mod of the year. JLab has sent these to me with the file titles already being the number. That is insane. I wouldn't have even have thought of that. Unreal, JLab. There's Max Thompson. There's Jay Fulston. Wow. Absolute MVP move. Nico Lawrence. He's got a troubling but mu mustache that I can respect. Luciano Daria Henry honestly looks exactly how you think he's he's got the right flair the right hairstyle for a Luciano Daria Henry Jake Evans Josh Howard this is incredible this just saves so much time and Kianole and Gapizzi in as well and then we had McCoody space long overdue to be in the game and we'll go ahead and add augustus mcgiff as well even though he's not um even though he's not on the team anymore he deserves our respect you know he deserves our respect so we've got all those in the in the folder get to football manager graphics faces Okay, and then I get FMXML, which is this little program up here. And we take the custom faces, oop, and we drag it there. Faces make config file, all file names or IDs, and that writes us a little config file to make this relate to Football Manager. So if we just go ahead and close out all this and reload the skin again. We will have a face on Harry Palmer and 11 other dudes. E oh, I have caching on. Zealand, is this the first time you've ever done this? Yes, it is. This is my first. There he is. There's Harry Palmer. Let's go turn caching on, shall we? And create it speeds up the load times. So this is Max Thompson, who might be leaving us, but hopefully he stays the big lad. This is Luciano Daria Henry. Glorious. It's glorious. This is Cianole Ingapizzi of West Bromwich Albion. This is Nico Lawrence of Southampton. This is Jay Fulston of my DMs. This is Nick McCoody. <coughs> the legend himself. <coughs> He just looks like a great guy, too, doesn't he? Looks like a fabulous guy. Anybody else? Oh, Malachi Reeve was added. There you go. Looks like he has 18 jumping reach. I don't know what 18. <laughs> Al this is Alfie Sanders. He looks about 12 years old. So checks out. Uh, Ling, Zach Smith, Harry Bradbury. That that's it. I think that was every face. Yeah, that was every face. All right, let's do this. The faces are in. Thank you, chat. Thank you. A hearty thank you to you. I would have forgotten. You know me. I totally would have forgotten if it wasn't for you, and I really appreciate it. Okay. For the favorites, we should be winning this one comfortably. Carry forward from your performance in the last match. Try and put some pressure on them early in the season. Thompson, Nee, Warwick, Antwi, Evans, Isiguan, Daria Henry, Fulston, Nico Lawrence. 
Come on. We can do this. Makuti just looks like a great guy, too. He's off the bench today. Pretty intense fixture congestion for us early in the season, as is customary. And uh, I want to use our depth. There's a reason we have a lot of players. It's so that we can use the depth at our disposal to win matches. Okay, I guess the highlights rolling right through. Rob Evans, Jay Folston's got Harry Warwick. We are a shorter team today. You see, you want towards Thompson. Come on, oh my goodness, Thompson. God. It's the second minute, Max. What in heaven's name is that, Max? Good God, dude. The second minute he goes, he just like absolute rogue move. And now we're just going to have to cheese a goal out of this. Oh, well, I'm not going to change our defensive setup. It'll be really hard for them to break us down if we stay set up like this. So it's not like that was a hard adjustment for us to make, but good gracious, Max. Come on, Harrison. Chase the ball, Harrison. Oh, Evans, don't you dare. Nice speed. Daria Henry, get back. Oh, that's a problem. And he missed it, but... They're going to rock us to sleep there. We need... Close downs in the fullbacks. Not only that forced them to move the ball up the field faster, it will give us the opportunity to react to what they're doing. This is going to be a long 90 minutes. Also won't give them that amount of time. Oh, Tommy Wood just scored for Hampton and Richmond. And that was the guy we almost signed. Well, considering we're down a man the whole freaking game, we're not doing too poorly. This is riveting ball right here. This is a match that you will never forget watching. Ever. One to write home about. Pody, thank you for the, the, the tier one. Welcome to the Hammers. Ray Streaming, thank you for the four months. At this level, thank you for the three. Velen, Psychology, thank you so much for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes. Truly a historic night. Yeah, this is... A barn burner. I mean, when you get a red card in the second minute, it really is just all hands on deck here. But if we can get three points out of this, that would be fantastic. Oh my goodness, Harry Warwick. Harry Warwick! Harry Warwick! Oh, dude! Oh, Harry! Come on, Harry. He's capable of individual brilliance. Oh, almost. Nico, you didn't really have anybody to head that too. There you go, ain't we? Okay, come on, guys. Don't get cooked by everybody here. Thank you, Nico. Palmer. What are our options, Palmer? Oh, he's got him. He's got oh, oh, that was a good ball, though. That was definitely a good ball. We're there. We're there. We literally have multiple. Palmer, goodness. Oh, what a play. Oh, what a play by Palmer. Harry Warwick. Rob Evans, Harrison Knee. Oh, where's Warwick? Where's Warwick? Oh, it's, it's Harry Warwick. Scorwick strikes again. This is just heart and desire, willpower to find the back of the net on that play. Harry Warwick just throwing himself around. Come on. My boy, Nico. Get there, get there, get there. What are we waiting for? Nobody? Really? No. Harry Scorwick. 
unbelievable effort from Harry Scorwick. That is, that's why he's the captain. You're darn right. That's why he leads this club. Oh, he's got Harrison Knee. Harrison Knee! Oh, baby. We're too good. Harrison Knee! Can't we with a dime? Absolute dime. Harrison Knee just had to figure it out, and he figured it out enough. Ten man OP. Ten man OP. Oh, ain't we? That was just, there was not a lot of room to fit that pass in there. That was sauce. Well, they're in shock right now. Uh, Rob Evans, you're out. Give me Kamari, and we'll move Antwi up. And then Nico Lawrence is getting tired, but he's playing well. So we'll have him play out the rest of this match because it is an uncomfortable match for us. And we will have Jake Evans come in for Daria Henry so he can play in the next match as well. Evans is a bit of a better defender than Daria Henry too, so not a bad call to have a more sound right wing back than the flash and flare right wing back. Ours, out of boy Fulston. Come on, Antwi. Palmer's distribution has been fantastic also. That's what made the first goal. Boom. Got it again. He's got it again. Oh. Dude, what? There's nobody in the goal. I get it was a little contested, Scorwick, but we need... If they want to give us an empty net and we get lucky enough to see that, we probably need to be taking advantage of it. Oh, he, I'm pretty sure that shot hit their own guy. That was just chaos. Harry Pal Palmer has been... He's lower league out of I think it's because I keep signing well-rounded goalkeepers and all the other guys are just like don't have any first touch or kicking and my guys have like eight or nine and that's apparently just too much for these defenses to handle nice thing a PC uh, okay we've got multiple defenders to deal with this and that Evans no Inga PC Lawrence nice work Scorwick wanted a banger for social media. So if they're just going to keep lofting the ball in, I'll get Nico out and just bring Burroughs in. Five minutes of a guy with 16 jumping reach standing in the middle of the defense. Oh, he's sneaky one? Handball. I can't wait for the Iran-USA game now. Oh, it's going to be so emotionally charged. U.S. all day, baby. U.S. all day. But wait, is Borum Wood struggling? How? They stole two of the best players we were trying to sign from us. I mean, if they're struggling early season, that's good. They must be having morale issues because they just got relegated. We need to take advantage of that. Because they're going to be the only team, I would say, that's probably more talented than us. What a win. We were down a man in the second minute. And we just won that game anyways like it was nothing. That is so impressive. This tactic is... Oh, God squad, right? Did Qatar get any points? I think Qatar gets a point. Yeah. I absolutely think Qatar gets a point. I think they draw either Ecuador or Senegal. I don't know who. But Qatar, I totally think they get a point. They're the Asian champions, and I'd like, they're, they're good. Um, they're not as good as, the, they're probably like, if you were ranking World Cup teams, I would put them like 30 out of 32, maybe. Maybe 31 out of 32. 
Uh, I put Saudi Arabia below them, 100%. But they're not like, they're, it's not a semi pro team. It's not a team that's going to lose every match 6 to nothing, right? Like they told, I, I think they'll get a point. It's a home World Cup. They don't have a pot one team in their group because they are the pot one team, right? They get three cracks at matches. I think they can hang in. Yeah. Dylan, thank you for the tier one. Are you doing watch longs while playing the save? I mean, yeah, we're gonna play some of we're gonna play some of the save as well. But we the while we're doing the watch alongs, we are just gonna be watching the World Cup. Like we're not gonna be playing FM and watching the World Cup at the same time. What's the training setup? Well, we're semi-pro, so <laughs> we don't have a, an elaborate training system. Uh, we're generally just doing overall or an outfield and then a, def a defensive or attacking training. Uh, attacking patients, the best attacking one. Defending engaged or disengaged is the best on defense. And so we just do those. And then if we have a big match coming up, we'll do a few match prep things. But normally over the course of a season, I'm just trying to take advantage of as much training as I can get. Really, Kaimani? I, we've already got a contract offer in for him, but... Who's making the offer? Hitchintown or Vonorama League North team? Okay. I like Kaimani. I don't think he's really in the picture too much in our team right now, but I do like him. I don't want him to leave. Wow, the training ratings. Hello. In the wrong way. That's so bad, guys. What are the three of you doing? Like the three stooges down here with an absolute fumble. Alfie, what are you doing? Really? Fulston, what are you doing? Well, Fulston's like mad at me, quote unquote. These guys, it's not as bad. War, I don't, oh my goodness, dude. Football manager, if you're going to make it difficult, like if you're, if you're not gonna add the feature to be able to praise and yell at people consistently, you should at least make it easy to edit playing this screen. FM on plane yesterday. My player scored a screamer, but I had to stay quiet frown. <laughs> B, that's awesome though. Just like silently like <sighs> Like your chair's just shaking. Velen, thank you so much for the gifted <laughs> sub. Lee Lucas resumes full training. Welcome back, bro. No valid ground. Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo! Fierce Pierce coming in with the 100 gifted subs. One of the goat hammers, an all timer. 100 gifted subs from Fierce Pierce. If that doesn't get your bacon out in the chat, I don't know what will. Marcus, thank you for the convert into a tier one. If you just got gifted a sub, be sure to say thank you. Holy smokes. 100 gifted subs. 100 people now a part of the hammers. Thanks to a gifted, thanks to a gifted sub. From yours truly, Fierce Pierce. <sighs> Thank you so much, Fierce Pierce. Uh, you, you've you made so many people's days and given so many people access not only to the subsection, the Discord, to being in Save Your Saves and all that stuff, but the emotes, the bacon next to their name, an ad-free experience here on Twitch. Thank you for the 100 gifted. Max, thank you for the 30. Blancos, thank you for the seven. You are fierce, fierce. You 29. are an awesome individual. Thank you so much. We can hire a whole new editor now. I'm so excited. We're going to need it because four years from now, I'm going to have to do 48 World Cup preview videos instead of, <laughs> instead of 32. We're going to need it. So every, you know, every contribution counts. All right, Waddle's in for Fulston. Um, Nico Lawrence is out. Well, I actually got Waddle and Fulston here. Let's get Jay Fulston that playing time he so desperately desires. Paris, maybe is a... Is a ball winner, perhaps? A little Joe Ling action, yes. Considering becoming a tightrope walker on the advice of my bank manager, he says my balance is outstanding. 
Well, I mean, it's high praise. High praise from a bank manager. Dude, Rob Evans can play every match as well. This dude's electric. Inga Peasy, Wannell, Fulston, Daria Henry, Joe Ling, Rob Evans, Lewis Kinsella, Warwick McCooney, Bradbury. Bench is Burroughs, Asiguan, uh, Ansui, Jake Evans, and Harrison Knee. Yes. Exactly what we want. Exactly when we wanted it. Oh, yes, this is perfect. All right, they're playing a 4-3-3. They've never seen anything like this before. This one goes out. This one goes out to Fierce Pierce. Jens, thank you for the prime. NJBH, thank you so much for the year. <laughs> I actually like that one. I'm going to go B+. Plus. That was a high That was a high level dad joke, NJB. One that I, I hope to use in my personal life. Juan, thanks for the prime. fans expect to win don't let them down so the world cup's gonna be held annually i don't think so they were floating the idea of the world cup every two years but the players would have revolted so world cup every four years they did but adding more teams i have no problem with them adding more teams when the world cup expanded to 32 there were like 60 percent of the countries that are trying to qualify now so expanding to 48 i think doesn't even match the level of like the number of teams that are attempting to qualify for the world cup now relative like it's not a crazy idea. I like it. So match we should be winning. Make sure we do. I want to put a little pressure on him. Cheshire United have lost their first two. What about 192 Team World Cup? No, that would obviously be stupid, right? But 48 is cool. You follow any other sports? I follow all sports. I watch American football religiously. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I love ice hockey, Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, baseball is probably the sport I follow the least, but I still worked in baseball for five years. So I understand the sport intimately and will watch the playoffs and stuff. And I, I, have, an, I have a nostalgia for baseball. Um, I understand rugby. I've been to a couple of All Blacks games. I've been to one England national team game. I'm not like a huge fan. I uh, don't follow it religiously at all, but I can watch it and understand it and enjoy it. Um, a lot of the Olympic sports, I've worked two Olympics as a producer for NBC, so I uh, I, I really enjoy like all Olympic sports. Uh, I even I, I even had to work rhythmic gymnastics for two days. So I, when I tell you I understand it all, I understand it all. Uh, cricket is probably the biggest oversight in my entire arsenal. Um, I played basketball through high school. I love playing pickup basketball. Um, basketball, in terms of playing, is the sport that I play the most. Um, and I, when I get asked, especially before I started streaming and it's like, what's my favorite sport? I would say basketball, but like it's basketball and soccer that have my heart in a way that, uh, like American football. I love watching, but I never loved playing it. It just kind of sucks to play. <laughs> oh, that was a good ball. But basketball does that, like has the same hold on me that soccer does. Absolutely. Not the NBA though. Like, I only watch the NBA in the playoffs. I love college basketball. I think it's a more natural form of the game. I think the NBA is too canned in the regular season. That's my full, uh, that's my full sporting rundown. Oh yeah, Rob Evans. Oh yeah, Rob Evans. Daria Henry. McCooney. Daria Henry. McCooney again. Oh my goodness, he almost scored that. Oh, Nick McCooney, the weapon on the front line. F1 racing. I was never super into racing, but my favorite type of racing is F1. I went to a practice rate, like one of the practice days, the last practice day for Monaco. When we went to France for my mom's birthday, it was like a surprise my dad had cooked up. It was really adorable, obviously. And we were there. We went to Monaco. We just happened to be around Monaco when they were doing the practice for the Grand Prix. So we went to it and it was awesome. I thought it was really cool. Uh, I haven't gotten super into it, but I know the players and I know, you know, I, I can follow it and understand it. Oh, by the way, we scored! He's going to score 50 goals this year. He has four goals in two games that he's played in. 
He's literally just score 50. I, I, so I said I know the players. I meant like the players on the scene, like the teams and the drama and uh, and the drivers. Yes, but I know the drivers aren't called players. Almost made myself look like an idiot there for a second. Be a shame if that happened. It's in. Oh. I actually, I, I make jokes about Tiddlywinks a good amount, but I don't think I've ever played Tiddlywinks, which is a real shame. But basically to answer the question, I like watching all sports. I think that a really good field hockey game is better than a really boring soccer game, to be perfectly honest with you, right? Like, and I feel like everybody should agree, right? Oh, that was an unfortunate bit of positioning. He was off anyways. I've always said that because I used to be a sports broadcaster and it's like, what's your favorite sport to broadcast? And my answer is always a good game. Like I, I've called wrestling matches that got me going a lot more than Premier League matches before because it, you know, came down to the wire, two guys really competing their butt off. It was really good stuff, you know. Horse racing, I watched like the Kentucky Derby. I watched the Triple Crown races. My dad does it. Why? Okay, okay, hold on. It's getting worse, dude. The Seppi stuff's getting worse. I have two guys in the goal. I'm like, why are my numbers so bad here? I have two guys in the goal. I'd be shocked if this didn't go in. Oh my God, wait, is that Ross Stern? Oh no, it is. Oh, that makes me so sad. Oh, we released him and Ross Stern's popped up on a team we're playing against in our division. No. I'd be shocked if that isn't a goal. We had two guys standing in our own net. Uh -huh. I'm assuming this is direct small chance of shot. So let's just, uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen, huh? Let's just go ahead and pretend that I didn't have two guys marking each other in the goal and that they just happened to play the ball to the wrong spot so that we survived. Well, that's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure that went right at Palmer. I don't think there was much of any angle on this shot. I think he just hit it as hard as he could right at Palmer. I'm going to get uh, behind the goal here. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. That is right down. Really? <laughs> that's right down the pipe, Palmer! Right down the pipe. Out of boy Waddle. Thank you, PZ. McCoots. Oh. So you need to. There we go. I can sell up. I need you to be the flamboyant wingback we know you can be. Thank you, Rob Evans. Oh, no, you had Kinsella. It would have been fine. Folston. Ooh, we're on to something. They're uncomfortable. Kinsella. It's got to be our ball. Thank you, Ling. Evans. Oh, Harvey Bradbury with the cross. McCooney. Oh. Good fight from Harvey Bradbury. And a set piece opportunity for the big boys. Bradbury and McCooney. Kinsella. Bradbury. Dang it. Holston. Good. Ling. Ling. That's terrible. Dang it, dude. Said I wasn't streaming today? Oh, well, I, um, we need to update that then. Monday through Friday, starting somewhere between 11 and 12, typically, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Daria Henry. Oh, nice pass. Makuti. Now I'll take a corner. We are, after all, a big threat on these. Bradbury, it'd be nice if you could warm yourself up as part of this team. Nice work there. Kinsella, I guess he was off, maybe. I hate it when they, their goal just pops up as like against the run of play. We had the momentum in the area that they scored the goal in. Let me get Harrison Knee out there. 
can just go double advanced. For now, Harrison Knee is a pressing forward. Works perfectly fine. Uh, our midfielders are struggling. We have Nelson Asiguan for Kinsella. We can do that if we want. But I think I want to go with Antwi instead of Rob Evans. And then Asiguan maybe for the last 15 minutes. But there's more to be offered from my boy Kinsella. Just throw it short and let's play. Oh, Bradbury going for it immediately. McCooney and knee. No way he's on. I can't see the, the things blocking. He's off. Dang it. Yeah, he's just eight. He's 50 shades of offside there. But he got to get a celebration in, so that must have been really exciting for him. Okay, Kinsella's the last one. Nelson Isiguan with the wingbacks in attack. We're going on attack, and we'll move the midfield up. Your advanced playmaking, and you're just going to stay down there. Okay. Just want Antwi to involve himself in offensive affairs. This is unfortunate. They're just shutting us out. Don't keep going. I didn't tell you to keep going. I am surprised by the lack of highlights we're getting, but I, I mean, we, you saw the changes we made and just nothing happened. We dominated the momentum graph for all but one section of the entire 90 minutes. And we didn't find any highlights in the last 30. Dang. We look up the numbers. We should have won that. So despite the result, trust the process. It was one of those days. I'm not, not going to say that because we were getting a little complacent before this. That is unfortunate. We let up a really soft goal. Couldn't find another goal. End up with a draw. Can't keep our sterling start to the season going. I trust we're in for a fabulous season regardless, though. Have you seen Kev's tweet? That's the tweet you're talking about? I don't know what he says. So he says, I'm seeing and hearing a lot of creators simultaneously complain about FM23 and complaining about their views being down. This clip from Nepenthes sums up my thoughts better than I could. Skill said something to me a few years ago, right? He said that he tries to say positive in all his videos, no matter how he really feels about the game. Not saying he's being disingenuous either, but even when he's got like, frustrations with the game, he tries to be positive about those frustrations because he said he doesn't want to be negative with viewers because if you like imagine like you've got like like we've got like what three thousand people here watching right now imagine if i say man i'm so disenchanted with fifa i'm so bored of this imagine if even just 10 percent of those people say yeah do you know what he's right this game's shit i'm not gonna play it i'm gonna go and play warzone now all of a sudden they're gonna go and watch warzone so all of a sudden 10 percent of my viewership leaves and doesn't come back because i've convinced them that this game is shit and and i always like Apologies for the language. Took what by he the said way. and thought he's so right, man. Like even when you're not enjoying it, it's like you gotta make the best out of a bad situation at all times, right? Skill said something to me. If I think that a big mistake that creators make in general, because I don't think this year's release of Football Manager is as good as other years. Now, granted, I'm a psycho. I, I would play Football Manager in the snow if I was at the Antarctic base doing research i'd be playing football man like i would play football manager 1995 like championship manager if i could if that was the only option i had that's what i would play right so i think a, a mistake a lot of creators make is they think very transactionally about this sort of stuff like they're doing math like i remember somebody told me that 
they don't raid other people because they're afraid not not afraid afraid wasn't the word they used they said they don't raid other people because those other people are their competition and i'm like i, I think that that fits kind of in the same boat now nepenta has been at this a long time like he knows exactly what he's doing but he, he's very like in you know in in fifa in a way and i i think that particularly like i know kev is like this he's very open on the business side of it and the transactional side of it of of content creation and oh sorry i made this video but it's just a business and those sorts of things like i don't know those that just like weirds me out i think a mistake that a lot of content creator like content creators make is thinking too transactionally about it like i'm a, like uh, how many people are here let me unhide the 25 it's 2500 people here sorry that's a lot uh there's 2500 people here i mean football manager is not a particularly visually stimulating game right i i don't think that the game matters nearly as much as people think it does i'm more about a feeling right i'm not about the game i don't think of myself as a football manager content creator i just freaking love playing football manager right like i i think content creation is more about a feeling not like a fake feeling but like uh you are here because you want to be here and if i don't think football manager is good to the point that i don't want to play it i'm not going to play it right i'm not going to like pretend to be in a good mood to like make sure that people keep playing football manager so they keep watching me i want you to watch me because you just want to be here because this is the place that you like hanging out that you enjoy you like having a good time right and you th this is what you like to do when you're at work this is what you like to do when you're watching the kid i don't know but you just like being here and i think that people overthink it all the time and I want to raid, right? Like to, to the raid point, I want I raid at the end of almost every stream because I just love making people's days. It is super cool to see people's face light. I mean, you know, oh, this is so cool. To, you have the power to do that and you don't do it, right? I think it's like just trying to have a positive impact on the world, right? And sometimes I'm mad. Right? And sometimes I'm mad and I'm not in a good mood because we keep losing. And I'm not, I don't, I don't hide it. I don't hide it nearly as well as maybe I should in real life or in anywhere else. But I think that content creators fall into a trap of thinking too transactionally. Like doing the math. Like, oh, if I play, if I play Planet Zoo, right? I think we average, I played Planet Zoo. We averaged like 750 people watching me play Planet Zoo. That's a ton of people. And a lot of those people are like, oh, this is really, really, like, really relaxing. You should do this again sometime, right? Like, that's, and they just really enjoyed being here. That's what matters. I don't know. I, I think that, like, the, I think the whole transactional nature, uh, I, people can see through it, too. If you're there, and I, I think it really limits you, right? I am super blessed to have fabulous friends that are incredible content creators like carl jacobs is awesome uh tina is fantastic quackity is an amazing guy and those guys the, those people are so good at creating happiness for other people and i think that is just so important right is being able to create just like create environments where happiness can exist for other people and i think that's that's that that so that's that's really what i look for in response to that tweet uh, but i still love kev i love kev as annoying as kev can be i do love kev he's great uh, he's really funny uh, he's a great content creator i think i, I think that if you, you can just look at it a little too transactionally you know Hey, Molly Bloom, thank you so much for the prime. 93rd minute goal for my Sheffield Wednesday against Man United to go top of the league. Hey! Ah! 
It's tough to stream 20 hours a week. I stream about 25 hours a week. 25 to 30, usually. I got a normal week. I used to stream every day. And then I was just absolutely burning out because streams take a lot out of me. And I basically just sit there in like a coma for two hours after a stream, so. I, Sadio Mane being out, if that's actually true, I see people saying that in the chat that he's he's going to miss the tournament. That is so sad. That man is Senegal. That is so sad. Hey, Sorelli, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, dude. He's also never dishonest, so that's fine. Yeah, Kev's never dishonest. And I like, I, I, I like to think I'm not either, right? Zarelli, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Fabrizio confirmed it. Oh. oh, I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for Senegal. That is, that is a cry. I mean, I just can't even imagine the gut-wrenching feeling you have when you realize after all that hard work and all that anticipation that you're not going to be able to play at the World Cup. I mean, that is just so... That is so crushing. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got some homies picking him up in this, this troubling time. Because that really, really stinks for him. Only for the first games. Okay, so like if they get out, he's going to be on the team. If he's still on the roster, then he has a chance. Because it was like so it was like most solid at the last World Cup four years ago where he had a bad shoulder injury, but he was still like, you know, gutted it out, tons of pain-killing injections and was able to get on the field. If it was one of those things, then do it. I mean, a guy played in the Super Bowl with a broken arm before. If you want to be on the field bad enough, it... <laughs> If you are willing to sacrifice potential longevity of other things, you can usually get on the field. So we'll see. I, I mean, it, it's unfair to ask somebody to play with a broken arm, but there was a guy that had multiple pins put into his arm and like a bulletproof cast put on it and played American football in the Super Bowl with a broken arm. Just because he was like, I'm not, mi I'm not missing the Super Bowl. And he, he played the whole game with a broken He was like their star linebacker. So he was hitting people every play. And he, he played the whole game with a broken arm. But I remember watching that. I've broken my arms four times. I remember watching that and I'm like, this is the most insane individual I have ever seen in my entire life. It was when I have a broken arm, I roll over in bed the wrong way and wake up like, ah, ow, like pain. You have to be very careful what you say as a streamer. I think you could also just be an open-minded, accepted person that's not a jerk. But yeah, you do have to be able to self-edit. Absolutely. Right? Because, you know, you learn. There's always like a moment that you learn that you've crossed this threshold where, and this is like an interesting concept I've talked about, I think once or twice before. I am not like peer to peer anymore, but I was not made aware of when I crossed that line. And the line is in YouTube comments where people, instead of asking you questions, they ask the internet the question because they assume you won't see it because you're too like out of reach. You're like too high, right? And so what I mean is they'll, they'll come in and be like, yo, when did he say he's going to release the skin? Instead of just commenting and asking, like, when are you going to release the skin? So you become not a person. I'm like a brand now. When really I'm a dude in shorts at my computer, right? And this is just what I do all day. All right, I'm from YouTube. Welcome, Malik. So I don't, I don't know when you cross that threshold. But once you cross that threshold, people have conversations about you while you're actually watching it, right? Like... I am, I'm on the Reddit. <laughs> I'm on the my Reddit and the football manager Reddit. I see, yeah, I see the conversation, but people have the conversation like you're not there, like you're some you're like not actually a normal person anymore. Short reveal? Oh, you know. If they're actually hold on. They are uh lovely nylon Florida State shorts, because one of my brothers went to Florida State. So we've got the, uh, we've got the Seminole there. Very good, very comfortable, very, 
Very breathable shorts, exceptionally breathable. Um, just tremendous overall quality. Uh, one of my favorite pairs of streaming shorts. So you're definitely going to keep an eye on this guy. Uh, Ashley Hemmings. Yeah, but once you cross that line, then you'll just say something and people will just grab it and just kind of run with it. So you do learn that that's a thing pretty quickly. People will be like, Zeeland said this. I'm like, I don't even remember saying that. Like having arguments about what I said and I'll just come in on the Reddit and be like, look, guys, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Didn't say any of that. Another funny one is the effect you have on people when you just like reply to something. That's weird. Don't think that's not weird. Like imagine for you, like for a second, if when you replied to somebody on Twitter, there was a significant percent chance that person would like go, oh my, Zealand, whoa. Like, dude, can you follow me, please? Dude, like, follow me, dude, bro, right now. And you're just like, dude, I didn't even think of, I just replied to them. So that, that's funny for that. That's funny for a while. Every once in a while, it gets annoying. They'll like DM you 45 times. They're like, dude, I saw you like my tweet. And I'm like, I just thought it was funny. Leave me alone. So there's a lot of different things that go into it. So do you have to self edit? Yeah, but not as much as you'd think you do. You could also just like be a decent human, but. I get that with Alujo all the time. I just ignore him now. He's obsessed. Fair. That's true. With Waziri Williams joining the club, Waziri Williams is a beast. We love Waziri Williams. We would love to sign Waziri Williams, but, you know, we've got other dudes here. The dream is for Zealand to like one of my tweets. There you go. Still wondering why you'd follow me on Twitter. I uh, Do I follow you on Twitter? I don't. I follow like 1,200 people. I... I don't really prune it that much. Did you watch? Well, I've not watched Welcome to Wrexham yet. No. I keep being told that I should. I think it's probably just going to be heartwarming. Hit for whenever possible. Start marking opponents tightly. I like both of those. Although we haven't necessarily been able to successfully train any player trait on anybody yet. People are really upset with our poor standard of coaching at the club, but... I think we probably need to be promoted in order to improve the standard of coaching at the club. So let's work on that. What do you say, guys? What do you say, lads? I wrote you, but I still ain't calling. I used to answer all of my Twitter DMs until like probably a year and a half ago. I answered every single one of them. I'd sit there for like hours and catch up on my Twitter DMs. But then it, start, it started weighing so heavy on my mind and I just couldn't keep up and I fell behind like so dramatically that I was like, you know, I, I never mind. I look at them sometimes, but I, I, I can't keep up with them anymore. But is he guys fully pro? No, no, we're still semi-pro. You can tell with all the unavailable training slots, we're doing the best we can with what we have. Oh, we've got two tough matches. Back to back. Two teams that have started the season incredibly well. Ebbs Fleet and Dolich. Both good teams from last year. Reynolds and McElhaney bought Wrexham solely to make that dock. The Sunderland dock gave them the idea. I hate how little they know about the sport. I don't think you should hate on them. I think they're basically just living out a dream. Like, I would totally do that, dude. If I if I was worth that amount of money and I had other friends that were worth that amount of money, I'd be like, hey, do you want to buy a club? Absolutely. Have you ever had a football player comment or like some of your tweets? Uh, yeah, I have a few um, football world friends, I think is the way I would word that. Uh, Matt Smith's going to the World Cup. He's a friend of the channel. He, he plays for Wales. He's awesome. Um, uh, he gave me his jersey after the Wales game that we went to, which was really cool. Uh, Terrence Boyd, who is a former U.S. international, that was really, really cool. I got uh, I filmed a video with him. I talked to him about uh, 
playing football manager and that was yeah that was, that was really cool he plays it on the bus in the way to matches he'll literally be on the bus in the way to matches and be playing football manager and then um felix poslock of dortmund plays a lot of fm we've talked about football manager before young bane the rapper i helped him i helped him set up the region face pack on facetime so there's just like random uh esports pros like fabian is in the channel all the time he's really he's really nice um so there's like yeah there's a lot of random people that love fm the same way that you do all right we finally have Ansui and lee lucas in the midfield kinsella and daria henry at fullback inga pc waddle uh no that's not it uh where is lawrence Nico, Inga PC, Palmer, Lucas, Kinsella, Warwick, McCoody, Bradbury. Where's Thompson? We finally have the team that we need. Oh, he's suspended still. Great. Um, Zach Smith, have you learned right wing back yet? No, but you are going to start to hate me here in a second. So we are going to play your right wing back today. Where's Daria Tom or Daria Henry? Daria, whoever you are. There, Burroughs is off the bench for Fulston. How are we doing on keeping these guys happy? Lucas is okay. Fulston's okay. That's good. Fulston's going to get a lot of time with all that other stuff. So, Warwick, McCoody, Thompson can't play. Harrison Knee on the bench. Yes, Elva Fontaine's there. Really just going to need to get rid of Zach Smith, honestly. He's going to get... Well, we'll keep him... Uh, happy as long as we can, but we're just going to have to get rid of him. He's going to get too mad, and we're not going to be able to play him enough, so I really shouldn't cater to him now. Um, Jake Evans and Joe Ling. I'm going to go with Rob Evans and Jake Evans. Evans squared off the bench today. I can't wait until we can get our three target forwards out there. I wish we could sign one more player. I want to look at Cargbo. I really wish we could sign Cargbo. He's such an absolute feaster oh my goodness we can oh shut up oh yes hamzad cargbo oh it's illegal oh we can sign hamzad cargbo oh god gadget thank you for the 19 months why is zardis spam going off in the chat right now Oh, Hamsun Cargmo. We can sign him. Shut the front door. Now that good that's good, because then we have four tall forwards. Thompson loses his spot in the lineup. Hamsun Cargbo plays wide. But then we have four we have a lot of big Oh, befriend Jossie? I would be, be hilarious if I met Jossie. Because I think it would be really cool. As much as I've raged about him being called into the US national team, dude has 60 caps to the US now. I've watched that guy for much more of my life than I would care to admit in the U.S. shirt. Enjoy the match. Go out there and play your game. Yeah, have fun. Enjoy the match today. <laughs> the Great Wall of Taunton. That's what they're going to call our front line. Three massive meat lads. Makuti, Bradbury, Cargbo. Perfect. They sound intimidating. We've got short kings in other positions, but our front line, just big lads. And then a scrappy pressing forward named Harry Scorwick. All right, boys. At home against Ebb's Fleet have won their first three matches, so this would be a nice statement if we could go out and get three points today. Oh, goodness. Thought they were going to whistle that. Thank you, Palmer, for at least covering the goal that time. All right, Bradbury.
Seems very even. See if we find our few opportunities with the kind of constant pressure we keep on. Oh my goodness! What a goal! What a goal by Luciano Diaria Henry! Oh, it's genius from Luciano! Luciano Daria Henry. <sighs> Bradbury. What a hit. Keeper got a hand to it, but it was just out of his reach. Trickles into the back of the net. An inspired strike by Luciano Daria Henry. Oh, no. Okay. And your PC, that was almost fantastic. We had the numbers in that situation. Lawrence. Oh, dude. Leave it. Oh, my goodness. In what world do we pass it forward on the ground? Who? What are you doing? Just hit the ball up the field. Thank you. Warwick. Warwick, their defender is literally running out of the way. I have no idea what's happening. I, I know we scored, but this is one of the funniest match engine glitches I've seen. Watch Linton. slight you know there's a breeze there's a breeze out there just a slight misread of the ball in the air just a pretty you know oh man he thought it was going over the, oh dang it guys what are you doing he's looking at his back line like why didn't you cover me yeah Lin lynn's got a really nice condo in somerset now it's on the water <laughs> Really nice condo. McCooty scored again. Uh, we should also point out the fact that Nick McCooty is on a goal scoring rampage to start the season, putting, putting to rest any concerns about him being able to elevate his game to match the level we're playing at now. All right, Kinsella. Not normally our game here, but he's made it work. Nick McCooty, we've got so many nice options. And oh my goodness. Why? I mean, you said, how much did I pay Linton? Well, I, we got him a condo in Somerset. And yeah, I know the housing market's pretty crazy. So it was about 20 million pounds for a nice small condo in Somerset. And um, I, that felt reasonable. We really needed the goal. You're doing brilliantly. Keep going. I mean, we're up 2-0 at halftime against a team that had won its first three matches. So, oh, look at Scorwick. Look at Harry Scorwick. McCooty. Ansui. Oh. Give me that. Oh, Antwi, you cheeky, cheeky dude. It's out. Ha, no way. There's no way he kept that in. Waddle, nice work. Honestly, three center backs and three strikers is just, it, it just then makes the numbers for the opposition so much more difficult. They can't win those easy direct chances, and we always can because we've got guys that. I mean, no back line in the league can handle three guys with this kind of jumping reach. Thank you, Wannell. That was actually a beautiful break of the press. I feel like it was on accident. Daria Henry. Daria Henry. Still, McCooty. Unbelievable player. Goal! You smell that? You smell that? Because McCooty smelled it a while ago. He smells the goals. He smelled it before he got in the building. 
the goals. Erling U. Most goals in any league in England. That's that's what McCudi's going for this year. Oh, Scorwick. Oh, Scorwick. There you go. Palmer. What you got? Nice hit. We getting there? Oh, we are. We're totally getting there. Bradbury walks it in. Count them. Count them. That's four. They're making the mistakes. We're all too happy to cash in. Bakuti with the brace. Harvey Bradbury gets his first goal for the club. Uh, yeah, this is this is going perfectly fine. Uh, Kinsella, you're off for Nelson Isiguan. Uh, Wannell, always a concern. So, Folston, you're in there now. go baby booze bossman thank you for the two months it is a statement of intent to the rest of the league because where we might have been the lovable plucky underdog that was supposed to finish second to last and ended up finishing third with a fabulous run to the end of the season we have repurposed ourselves into the big literally the big tough beat you up bully on the block no mercy Great defense, great forwards team. Just shoulders and elbows to the jaw. Route one in the highest order. Ball forward. Fast guys outside. <sighs> we're, we're built taunt and tough. That's, that's the new line. We're built taunt and tough. You don't come in here, mess with us. Not in ton. Oh, Daria Henry, where are you going? Brad, thank you for the eight months. We're built to win in the sixth division of England. We're built to win in the sixth division of England. We have four big forwards. We play a back three. We've got essentially two graceful players, and they are our complete wingbacks on either side that are severely one-footed, and they have the pace and the flair. And they spread the love. <laughs> Country strong. Multiple country songs will be written about the toughness of this Taunton team. He's on. That's actually a problem. That's a goal, yeah. 89th minute, we're up 4-0, but they did break us down. We weren't quick enough shifting the midfield. They had a really obvious passing lane here. So it's Lee Lucas pinches in, gets caught inside here, and Gesson's got the run there. Fulston's just on a walkabout. Not cutting that angle off at all. Linton nearly lost his condo there if he'd hit the target with that header. No condo for you, sir. Palmer. And in the next game, we probably will have Cargbo as well. So that's something to look forward to. And sweet. Oh, and sweet. You're better than that. You're definitely better than that. Lee Lucas, good work. Uh, this is probably the end of match highlight, but still like watching these guys play. Great work. Great, great work. 4-1 against a team that had won its first three games this season. That's exceptional. 
And now we're away to Dulwich Hamlet. Right where we belong, right up around the top of the league. No issues at all. This community is a cultural wel uh, melting pot. Oh, you have no idea. Watch this. Hey. How much? Well, how much? I'm thinking about how much I'm going to pay Hamza Cargo. Not how much, anything. <clears throat> where are you from? You might be tabbed out. You might be watching on your TV. You pull up your phone. You know, you get the chat open. You tab back in and you just type where you're watching from. Where are you from? Sweden, Norway, Brazil, Netherlands, Romania, Dallas, Texas, Iceland, Spain, Canada, St. Louis, India, Greenland, Finland, Germany, Canada, Norway, California, Czechia, Italy, Portsmouth, Brazil, Russia, Denmark, Atlanta, Ingerland, Florida, I'm sorry, Vancouver, Virginia, Connecticut, South Texas, Quebecois, UAE, Slovenia, Chesterfield, Chelmsford, nice, Israel, New Jersey, Kings Lynn, Argentina, Colorado, Norwich, Portugal, Wales, Belgium, Croatia, my mom hitting the song, we are the, what, no, Burroughs left? Oh, my favorite backup center back just left. Oh, I thought we totally had him. Well, if he left, then can we get Waziri Williams? Maybe we can. I think Waziri Williams is a freaking awesome defensive player. We might be able to get Waziri Williams. Now, that's got to stay there, and relegation release clause is at zero, and um, I will do a 50% salary raise if we get promoted. 875, I'll do 1.5K if you sign Waziri. Come on, Waziri. We need you to move it down here. 2.5? Oh, that's too much. Okay. 2.3. Come on, Waziri. Unused substitute fee, 95. Shutout bonus, 95. And team of the year bonus of $1,000. Goal bonus of thousand dollars. Thousand dollars? What am I talking about? No. Winning the league. Thousand dollars. Uh non-negotiable. Yes. Look at this guy. Look at the absolute fantastic ability that this guy has. Yet another great player for us to go after. Dan Lincoln. And he does need regular time. He needs fairly regular time, but he doesn't need crazy regular time. Just want to get him in. Dan Lincoln, the goalkeeper, is good. He is good. Uh, I don't know what situation we would need another goalkeeper in, but um, it's worth keeping an eye on. Elfie Egan. Luke Spokes. A lot of good players out there. Reese, Fleet. Jack Stevens. And Finley Skiverton. Mr. Pace Merchant himself. Don't think so. I appreciate that, guys. I always think I always think it's really uh I always think it's really cool to see where everybody is from. I know I dropped right out of that into transfer negotiations, which is very me, to be honest, but I did appreciate that. Thank you guys. My mom dropped into the We Are the World. That just, that was fantastic. Uh, Prince Henry signed with a team. Louis Molden signed with a team. Tragic. Greenwood signed with a team. Ben Greenwood. Uh, just to make sure we manage our short lists appropriately. Poll open. Where are you in the world? All right, interesting. Okay, where are you? I am in the Americas. Americas in Europe, definitely heavy. I'm surprised. 
surprised that Africa is the lowest. I am surprised Africa is the lowest. Vote honestly. Don't follow me. I would have figured it was Asia for sure. And Asia is actually running pretty high because we have a lot of Aussies that follow the channel. I guess it's late in Australia. Maybe they're voting Asia. That would make sense. 69% Europe, though. Look at Europe go. Africa, there's 10 people in Africa, 15 people in Asia, 4 in Oceania, 114 in the Americas, 317 in Europe. It's New Zealand. Yeah, it is really, really. It's 635 in the morning in Sydney, which means it's 7 or 8. 35 a.m. in New Zealand. Some people up early. Give me Jake Evans playing that right wing back. Bradbury's not available, so we'll go Warwick. Dude, Cargbo hadn't signed. He's deciding between us and Worthing. He hadn't signed yet. Thompson's still suspended, too, so we... No, I'll go Bradbury. Bradbury's playing again. We'll do the same front three. Kinsella, Lee Lucas is working his way back from that injury, so we'll take him out for Rob Evans. And we can totally play again. Uh, Wannell, Lawrence, and is as a back line. Matthews, Bailey, Kamari, Hunter, Malachi, Reeve, Alpha Fontaine. No, Alpha Sanders, uh, Corey Paris, Joe Ling. Joe Ling is now on the bench. A, a, a suddenly very, hey, hey, hey. Watch it! Copying my style with the back seven. What are you doing? Australia is Asian qualifying, yeah, but. We do have a good West Asian following. I know there's always people watching in like the UAE and Kuwait. Enjoy the match tonight. Go out there and play your own game. Yes. This is a tougher test, I think, than Ebb's fleet at home because we were not nearly as good on the road last season. We're a little tired from that match a couple days ago. But we have the ability to rotate. Because not only do we have a good team now, we have a deep team. Really, Chippenham Town has won all four matches it's played this year. They, they're playing the back seven, can't beat them, join them. That's their strategy. They're afraid they can't beat us. Oh, Evans. Makuti to the other Evans. It's rather confusing. We have Rob and I, I, it starts with a J. What is it? Jake Evans. Jake Evans is our right wing back. <laughs> oh, Rob. Get your hands off him, Rob. Well, this is an awkward free kick. All right, Waddle. Oh. Elevate. Get under the ball. Just got here today. What did I miss? Hey, Real Caldigum. Uh, we made one or two signings, and we've got three wins and a draw in our first four matches, including at home against a team that was top of the league with three wins from three to start the season. So we've looked really promising kicking things off. I just hope we can keep this momentum going. And I think we can because we're so deep. You know, I like to build teams deep. Oh, great defense from Kinsella. Waddle. That's all right. Just get it up there. Keep hitting it up there. Good things will happen. Poppy Hanky, thank you for the 16 months. Appreciate you being a part of the Hammers, my dude. Scorwick, Damn, bro, bro, he, Makuti, Answeet, Ingapizzi, Makuti, Evans, Jake, smart, good play. Now we test the back line with the hard running Scorwick. 
It is a bit like for like with the way that our teams are set up, so. Strength against strength today. Except our, four, our front line is more narrow, obviously. We're camped out a man for a man against their back three. Oh, Wannell. Keep testing him. He'll break. I trust our defenders to hold longer than theirs. Our defenders are better. Nico Lawrence, nice work. McCoody. God, Wiltshire is devouring McCoody right now. McCoody can't win an aerial duel to save his life. Unless that happens. Nick McCoody. He's in behind. Why would I ever doubt his ability to get the better of the man marking him? Why would I ever doubt that? One little slip. Kinsella just sends the ball up. Wilshire just misjudges it slightly. Skips free. McCoody's waiting for it. Keeps him behind him. Great finish. Should have never doubted him. He was struggling with Wiltshire's aerial prowess and then finds an opening and buries it. McCoody again. Oh, Wiltshire. Wiltshire has an unenviable task of trying to keep track of number 20, Nick McCoody. We're there. Ingapisi. Nice. Waddle. Oh, cheeky ball. Oh, McCoody. That was actually really good defense from Wiltshire. I didn't know Deli Alley had fallen this far. That's a little embarrassing. He's off. Thank goodness. Oh, he's offside. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, he is offside. <laughs> oh, dude. I saw that happening. I'm like, how did that ball stay in? McCoody, way to work. Way to work, dude. Way to work, Nick. Oh, the bad hit either. Way to work, Nick McCoody. That is that is how you want to know how you win the golden boot? How you become a top goal scorer? It's that right there. It is that right there. It's the heart, it's the desire, the willpower. The 13 work rate combined with some good strength. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing, nothing. I don't, I don't mind that at all, Kinsella. Probably kick it where they don't have a guy just so it takes a little longer for them to... Oh, my goodness, that was the shot. A cross shot from Bradbury. Pesting Asagi. Nice, Ingapeasy. Oh, we're there. Wannell waiting for it. What a touch. All right, Palmer, you've got a good boot on you. Give it back to him. Oh, Waddle. Okay. Nice work from Brad. Oh, he's off. He's got to be off. Bradbury frustrating the defense. The only way they can get it off Bradbury is if they take out his knees. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't take out his knees. Jake Evans isn't playing well. Well, I have great news for you. I have no sub for that position, so keep on playing poorly, my brother. Uh, Chanelli and Gapizzi's not playing well, but it's only 1-0 right now. I'm not going to go making too many changes that I don't think I need to make. What a header by Bradbury. Nick McCoody. Oh, I just didn't get it in. He didn't get it under his spell in time. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. There's been a red card, but for who, Chris Kamara? Oh, no, Jeff. Oh, no. Oh, Kinsella. Kinsella. Oh. Bradbury. That's also true. I have no idea who got the red card. Wasn't That's not the important piece of information here. Mine. Oh, Wannell. Nice. Okay, now I'll go with Fulston over Chinole and your PC. And that should get rid of the player instructions, right? It does. Oh, that's so cool. So I have a couple player constructions that are specific to your PC, but once Fulston goes in over there, they go away, which is awesome.
I was really worried that was going to be blocked. Also, no point. We don't have anybody up after corners, so he's just hitting it to no one. Oh, Kinsella thought he could cut that. Good work, Palmer. They have all this XG, but I think the XG they got was from that disallowed goal. Because they have one giant XG of them. the only one who breaks out into Jolene every time Zed says Jolene? <laughs> that is definitely my fault. Because I, I did break out in Jolene one time when I said Jolene. Bradbury, fight for it, Bradbury. Fight! We need Cargbo. We're not fighting enough. We need Cargbo. The target man to end all target men. Oh, he's got him. Bradbury! Palmer, oh my goodness. <sighs> Fulston handled the ball. Cancel, cancel. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, what a save by Palmer. Oh, excellent. That was right in the corner and he got there. Thanks, McCooty. Oi, weird ball. Weird ball alert. Weird ball alert. Thanks. Way to work, McCooty us a lot of time to recover our positions. Whew. Nice. He was off. Okay. We're doing okay. They switching up their tactic. I mean, they're, no, they're keeping this. We'll see. Nope, they just went central. Okay and wide they're moving all over the place they're trying to shake something free by moving ollie every three seconds which is cool to watch the ai do that but it's not working either uh joe ling joe ling joe ling joe ling joe ling i'm begging you please don't take the ball joe ling joe ling joe ling joe ling Please don't take the ball just because you can. Come on, Jake. Oh, Jake. McCooney! And it's Nick McCooney again. With the goal again. Unbelievable from Nick McCooney. It's what he does. He's a bag man, and he always secures his bag. That should do it for Tottenham Town at Dulwich Hamlet. It was not comfortable, but it will be three points for Tottenham Town. <sighs> Evans. Ah. Oh. McCoody had a chance there. Another hat trick. Perfect. Beautiful ball from Waddle. Harrison Knee. Harrison Knee. Ref. 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 Good hustle, Harrison. Nice result for the team. 2 0 away. That's a good win. Vibes are high. We have won against Ebb's Fleet and we have grabbed the top of the league for ourselves. Ebbs Fleet and Dulwich Hamlet, two nice wins up the top of the league, back-to-back, -back, that have reestablished ourselves after that disappointing draw. 
How many goals is that? Makuni has eight goals in the league in five matches. Nobody has ever seen anything like Nick Makuti before. Oh, now we've got that wicked part of the season where we play two matches in three games. In three days. My favorite. So he said, don't sing. <clears throat> Jolene. 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 I'm begging you, please don't take the ball. Joling, 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 Joling. Please don't take the ball because you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, I know. Hold the applause. Thank you. Zach Smith doesn't feel like he's himself. Well, I got bad news for Zach Smith here. This is going to get ugly. Our vice captain agreed playing time is important player and uh, you're going to have to be okay being an impact sub. And if you're not, then we're going to have a whole other different problem. Oh, now he, he's just not unhappy anymore. That was the... Throws, bro. <laughs> oh. Now the... um. <laughs> this accident thing just went away. Smith has informed us he's no longer concerned about the issue because I made him an impact sub, and he's like, oh, yeah, okay, fair. I take credit for this song. Oh, I came up with it like, uh, what was it? Last season, some point last season, we sang the Joe Ling song about taking away the ball. Did the FA ban Thompson? He's been suspended for like three games. He's finally going to be back. We'll finally have our full complement of meaty lads up top. Unless Cargbo, ta uh, Tom Sams, another offer from Biller K Town. Tom, are you going to take that one? We don't really care about keeping Tom Sams at the team necessarily. We have never given the poor guy a chance. So maybe we should care. Yeah, and since he got sent off in the second minute of the match he played in, he was essentially out for four games. It's correct. It's really not bad. I mean, the, just the five decisions is bad, but we would prefer him to stay on this, to stay on our team. As long as they're not giving him actual money, I would love for Sam's to stay. Who's my dark horse for the World Cup title? Denmark. I said it in the, the Danish, the, the video that we dropped about Denmark. I mean, they're the, they're the dark horse. No doubt. Check your DMs. I got more faces for you. Awesome, J-Lab. We've got Jake Wannell and Joe. Oh my God, Joe Ling. Oh, yes. Oh, Joe Ling, dude. Wow. Wait until you see these guys. Joe Ling is great. I actually didn't need to. I needed to open that. That's Waddle. Wait until you see Joe Ling. That, that, that is Joe Ling. That's good. That's a face I could sing to right there. That's a face I could sing to. A few years ago, right? Oh, I actually had a uh, Twitter selected on the other. That was so confusing. That was the video we watched earlier. Hey, head coach of the month, four wins to draw. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, we acknowledge greatness when we see it. Joling, 
Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. <laughs> Waddle also. Let's get a nice Chad jawline. Jake Waddle. Nearly league player of the year last year, Jake Waddle. He was in the top three in voting. Is our premier center back. This song won't leave my head tonight. Who's going to be in the shower singing Joe Ling? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Cohesion's already going up. Considering the massive turnover in the squad, that's pretty good <laughs> for cohesion and stuff. Yeah, we can select cashing again, but like it makes a difference. But who has the time, you know? Oh, winning games does help. Yeah, having won five of our first six games to start the season, it does help. Uh, Waziri Williams probably isn't going to sign with us, and that does make me sad. But there is Ryan upward, which is conveniently the direction we're moving in the league. So be nice to maybe involve him in the team. Uh, hmm. So do we have one of these matches harder than the other? Not really. But there are guys that are definitely going to rest in this game, play in the next game. Let me go with Matthews in the middle of the defense. He hasn't gotten a run so far. Inga Pizzi can play like every game, so he'll play out there. Uh, right back, we're going to go with Elva Fontaine. We haven't really given him a chance to show what he can do yet. Ansley, I want you to play in this game. I want you to play with Lee Lucas. We have a strong midfield. Left back, I'm going to go with Asiguan. This is at home. Should be able to go after them offensively. Uh, Harrison Nee, you're going to be in the middle. Makuti's going to rest this one. We still have not completed the signing of Cargbo, which is annoying because there's been multiple matches that I've been waiting for that. And that's that's the team. Maybe we go Joe... Uh, <laughs> maybe we go Joe Ling here. Where's Paris? Or no, we don't need Paris. We don't need Paris right now. Maybe for... Yeah, if Antwi's not going to play, we'll just go with Kamari Paris. Kinsella, Waddell. No, because then we, we need Jake Evans. So we've got our fullback subs and then Makuti. Okay. So a bit of a rotated team. Not bad. Harrison Knee in the middle gets a chance to show what he can do in front of the goal. And they are doing a 4-3-3. Cool. Love playing against 4-3-3s. Three, they just made Kinsella the captain. Hey, Moondog! Wow! Thank you for five gifted. Gary, how do we feel about that? Steve, <laughs> please get Paul onward. Wait, 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 wait. Hello? I can, yeah. Um, I'm not a senior, now, though. What I'm is the... I'm a senior aid helper, and you can press one to be removed, and it's my job to connect you and your neighbors Test. with some of our team members that could save you Test. money on your Medicare costs. Um, and Are you a you human? Your Medicare coverage reviewed? I'm with Senior Aid Helper regarding insurance, and my callback number is 833-213-9482. You, you sound... Verdict's still out on that one. I have no idea if that was a human or not. She was either really dedicated to the script or that was just not a... Uh, yeah, I don't... I'm probably a bot, right? Or somebody that is so done with their job and sticking to the script so aggressively, but no, it cut off too abruptly to be a human being. I think it was a bot. Final verdict, bot. Very nice, very nice robot, but. Expecting a win today. You hear that, Fulston? You're not even taking this seriously, Mr. Complacency over there. Flock in, Jay. Lock in. Thank you, J Lab, for the for the faces. Uh, 
Oh, she said she was a bot at the start of the call? Oh. That ruins the fun of the game. God. Dang it. I like trying to figure it out. That was, a, that was a good bot, though. Most of the bots are worse than that. They're much more obvious. Oh, that's easy. And your PC. Easy PC. Was well, that a Harrison knee? No, it isn't. Oh, Lucas. Oh, I thought he stepped around him. That would have been fantastic. Nice sling. Bradbury just hoofed this up there. Don't try to run by anybody. That's not us. I mean, it's me, but it's not you. Just get that ball in the box. There you go. Good things happen when we get the ball in the box. Elva Fontaine to knee. Okay. Mombot's totally better, though. She comes across as totally human. I, dude, it's amazing how human-like Mombot is. Nice catch. No rebounds in this house. Oh, nice ball, Fulston. Samir Carruthers. Just soft pens, man. We give away a lot of soft pens. A lot of pens off of, like, deep free kicks. And just give away a lot of pens. And they're never threatening. It's never like somebody dribbling towards the goal that we tackle. It's always just like we sneeze on somebody 30 yards away from the goal, but somehow also in the box. And then, oh, pen. Like, I'm not even threatened by the position the ball is in. I just hear that little sharp, short whistle. Oh, nice, Thompson. Dude just missed the ball. Elva Fontaine. He's not really an offensive wingback, per se. All right, Ling. Elva Fontaine. And, of course, plays a nice ball to knee. That is on the line. Just keep it up. Just keep driving. Been a little slow getting off the blocks in this game. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Thompson. Can't lose that when you've got him in your back pocket. Thank you. Inga PC. Great ball towards Harrison Knee. Towards Bradbury. That's better. That's better. Honestly, played a lot better after we conceded that goal. We got him. Bradbury. Is he going for it? He is. I hope for a rebound almost. Dang. Furious? Good. Be mad. Yes. I like the furiousness. Harrison Nee, you're on a short lease. She's on a 6.4 in his second start for the team this year, so. Not feeling it, Harrison. 
I'm not feeling it. Is there a record for pins against? I'm pretty sure you'll get it. Nice header. He headed that ball with passion. Oh, good ball. One more. Oh, there was no way for us to get it to Bradbury, who was all alone. Brave heading from Fulston. Not brave work from Bradbury. Well, aren't we just standing around doing nothing? My goodness. Is somebody want to defend? Our whole line stayed up after we got broken down on the left side. The entire line stayed up the field. Like, that you doesn't work anymore. He's not offside anymore. You've got to back up. Waddle for Falston. McCooty for Harrison Nay. We got two guys that are underperforming on the field right now on their ratings. Get them both off. Thank you, Matthews. He's been fine today. McCooty, good work. Thompson, layoff. Lang, Bradbury. Good ball. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, he's got to get one more touch on that. Thank you, Wannell. Miguel Lee Lucas. Matthews should find a way to hit this ball up the field. They're getting three guys around the ball every single time, which means, like, the glancing header should be wide open. Oh, what a ball by Isinguan! Oh! What a pass! Oh, Isinguan, who's essentially a winger that just knows how to play wing back with a stupid ball. To Nick McCooty, who just does what he does, drills the ball into the back of the net. But that first time cross from Isiguan was class. That is definitely what we did not have a lot of last year. That was a big time cross. All right, now we're going to go after it. All right, we're going to go into attack, be more aggressive with our player positioning. Aren't they just pinging the ball all over the place? Nice work, Thompson. Keep making them uncomfortable. We want them to force them into a long ball. Oh, my goodness. With the sub coming in, too, and the glitchy screen, I couldn't tell if that was going in or not. It's like, if they're about to score that, I, I just hold my hand up. Waddle. Oh, nice. Elva Fontaine. Well controlled. Nick McCooty. You know. I don't blame him for missing that. I mean, this is not an easy play. It's just so close. Keeper flying at you. You get the header by him. Nice, McCuty. Deep ball, Bradbury. Don't hate that header. I see you on. Lucas. Oh, great work. Elva Fontaine roaming all over the place here. Waddle. Oh, the glancing header? No way. I thought he was on. I thought that was just the stupidest looking goal of all time. Oh, he's so marginally offside. Oh, he's definitely offside on that. Yeah. 
That was about to be the dumbest goal ever scored. The back assist by Nick McCootie. All right, sub. There's somebody we can bring out that will improve our chances of being able to win this game. And I believe that's Elva Fontaine. I know they were already in attack. I'll just make sure we staple that there. Lucas there. Ling there. Up, up, up the field, lads. He's on. We need to block the shot. Unbelievable. He's offside. I totally thought he was on. The flag's up, though. Let's steal it. Let's steal this. This is our, you know, this is taunting time. Last couple minutes. Ling. Oh, Bradbury has it. Nice work. Is he you on? Thompson. Oh, Evans. <gasps> He went for it. I respect the audacity of Jake Evans. He absolutely went for it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Keep it going, keep it going. Dump it back in, no, dump it back in. Oh yes, on to very attacking. We're gonna have one more. I will click on eBay at the end of the match. I promise you I've seen, I've seen the requests. Oh, yes, Bradbury. Excellent work, Bradbury. Oh, yeah, Joe Ling. What a play by Joe Ling. And he's put Thompson in. Max Thompson. I just had to take a walk. I had to take a walk. Okay. <laughs> or scream down the hallway or something. <sighs> that's not a match engine glitch. That's just an exceptional touch by Max Thompson. Glad he could finally come back to the team after four games away. Evans. It's a corner. Oh, Ling. Ah. A disappointing 1-1 one, one draw. <sighs> Dang it. eBay. All right, time to look at eBay. 
Who do we just play? Yeah, there is Jordan eBay. I have, I, I don't know. He's been a dart for the last two years. This is the Jordan eBay. The one that was at Liverpool and then Bournemouth for four years. And then free move to Derby County, free move to Turkey at Adana Spore, uh, free move to Dartford in the National League South where he played seven matches and had a 6.79. What's that pronunciation? I don't know. I've never heard of this guy before. I don't know who this guy is, but you guys did, so. Jordan eBay, great e-commerce site. Fabulous. I heard it was pronounced eBay, chap. That's what you guys were telling me, so. I'm going to go with eBay on this one. I appreciate the feedback, but definitely eBay. I mean, I did need some new socks, so maybe I should go on, go on eBay and go on eBay and grab them. He Shin Yu does want to play for us, but I guarantee you he's asking for way too much. It's not too much. He's 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 becoming more desperate, which is what we're here for. In the meantime, we've signed Hamzad Kargbo, who is essentially a cheat code. Um, the largest of large men, 6'6", 220 pounds. Makuti, you are still gonna play, dude. You you're not you did not just lose your spot with Hamzad Kargbo coming in. Oh, he's heartened that I came to talk. Nick, you are such a great guy. You're a great guy, Nick. I knew you were going to be okay. I knew we were fine. Hamsun Kargbo, you're up for Bradbury. He's been trialing with the team for a while, so it's not crazy that he's signing with us away to Hunger for Town. Oh, this, this schedule is so funny. They do this every year at this level. The two matches in three days for just out of nowhere for no reason. It's Habibi. It's Habibi. It's Hassan. It's Hassan. Yeah, so what happened to him in real life, chat? The dude legitimately played 27 matches in one season with Liverpool. And now he's just not anywhere relevant at all. Mental health issues? That sucks. Hope he's doing okay in real life. Cade Craig. I play with attribute masking, yeah. These guys, we just already know who they are. You going to a Wrexham game next year? It's a random question. Uh, no, I don't think so. I have no idea what to do with Cade Craig. He's so balanced. But I don't like him. I'm not like, ooh, yes. I want more Cade Craig in my life. Kwaku Frempong. No. Alfie Whittingham. No. Aiden Bailey. No. 
Olaf Kazella, my favorite snowman from Torquay United. Ollie Holbert. No. Plaidi Lolos. No. No. Callum Wilmoth. No. Johnny Goddard. No. All right. Bring on hunger for town. Got to go. Have a good time, fellas. See you later, Principal Agent. What team you playing as? The Taunton Town Peacocks. Yeehaw. Love the lower league English when we're rattling off here. It's like ca a casting call for Oliver Twist. I agree, Elmer. Never, you should never ignore mental health. Good the more people are talking about it now. Stop attempting through balls. Stop attempting through balls. Um, start knocking the ball past opponent. Yes. Do that. Don't want to tell the guys to stop attempting something. Start developing weaker foot on Hamza Cargbo. Yeah. Absolutely. Palmer's on an, a 7.46 average rating from his last couple matches. Okay. The reason we chose Taunton, they were like the team that just got promoted into this league was always Erie Williams has decided to sign for somebody else. Unbelievable. We do actually have one more spot in our team to sign somebody. Our team is going to be really tired, but we, we plan for that. So, Wannell's going to be in that spot. We are going to get Nico Lawrence into the middle. And Gapizi, who I thought would be able to play every game, but apparently he's not. Elva Fontaine is somehow clear, but Daria Henry's going to play anyways. Uh, Daria Henry, Antwi, Rob Evans, because Lucas is definitely going to be tired. Max Thompson's going to be exhausted. We do have McCoody. Where's um, Harry Warwick? Thompson off. Harry Warwick steps in. So we've got Makuti, Cargbo, and Warwick as our front three for this match. No, we don't need to see go on at all. We've got Kinsella. And Gapizzi's the guy that's got to step off. And we could go with Malachi Reeve, who is a startlingly tall individual. We might do that. Malachi Reeve gets his debut at right center back. When he takes over that spot, it is indeed... A no-nonsense position for Malachi Reeve. So have fun. A lot of exhaustion around the team. And yeah, that's basically it. Kamani Hunter. That's our full rotation. Well, now it's not a fully rotated team because we rested before that match, but it is a good looking team that we're able to put on the field against our, our lads across the aisle in Hungerford Town. Hamzad Kargbo. You're getting the highest number I can give. You're getting 89, Hamzad. I think you're going to have a huge season. Oh, also, we need to make sure we, we are already focusing our set pieces at Hamzad. We're already focusing set pieces at Hamzad Kargbo. This should be fun. Can you explain playing the two target forwards? Uh, we just want big guys on the field. Our whole strategy is to be bigger than the other team. <laughs> Did they say they were putting women's ball in this year? They didn't say when. They said they were working on it. They haven't announced what year it's coming out yet. So it's not this year. They would, it would have been like the headline feature for the game. <laughs> nice. Homsen card bell. Nice. See, we have the low crosses on because it works really well in the match engine, feeding the ball into Makuti because we have hit early crosses. And what we're really good at, and you'll notice we score a lot of our goals with, is we cross early, and their back line hasn't really gotten into the box yet, and then one of our three forwards is able to just get a tap in. That's why we play low crosses. Oh, it's McCoody! Goal! We thank our McCoody for our daily bread. He is irrepressible and entirely unstoppable the deflection he's the first guy to react to it because of course he is reads it brilliantly 
finds the back of the net again for Taunton Town. Daria Henry just on a rampage. Ball kicks free. We've got hardworking big guys. And we have a lot of hardworking big guys. And Mac texted. I'm back in a sec. There you go. Oh, one oh. At least he blocked it. Bolin, thank you so much for four months. He's Makuti is actually just startlingly good. He's perfect for the system that we've decided to employ. It's like he was born to play in it. Nice ball, Kinsella. Oh, come on, Cargbo, move. You big lug, move! Oh, yo. Come on. He just lost the battle at every level. One, two... And then three right here. He just gets bodied, just soundly bodied by Ruff. And no help from Nico Lawrence either, who's supposed to be the smart one that cleans up those messes. Good save by Palmer. That was, we put ourselves in a really tough spot there. McCooney has 20. No, he doesn't have 21 finishing. He has like 13 finishing, and he's about to put it on display again. So, I mean, he's absolutely unstoppable. He is a one, two touch finish master. I mean, he just, Kinsella just gives him a chance, plays it into the open space. McCooney takes one touch, pokes it over the foot with the outside of his boot. I mean, all day, every day, twice on Sunday, Nick McCoody will find the back of the net for Taunton Town. Kinsella. Nico! Guess who? Guess who? And he's onside. Oh, uh, Nick McCoody. One of the premier superstars in the sixth division of England with a nether hat trick. And you just wonder how long they'll be able to hold on to him. Nick McCoody simply can't stop scoring. He's got two goals before he gets out of bed in the morning. Wannell, nice play. Cargbo, sizing it up. He's got Makuti. What a pass by Cargbo. What a pass by Cargbo. Perfectly timed run by Makuti. Uh, he's, un he's unbelievable. I gotta stand up for this. We're standing up. Ugh. Four goals in 17 minutes for Nick Makuti. He's playing one of the best games anybody has ever seen. Antwi, he's got him again. No way. Oh, that ball just drifted away from him. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. Like, you get to the fourth goal, you're just like, there's no way. Four goals in 17 minutes. Cargbo trying to steal the spotlight here. He makes Xander hit him and look like a brick. Kind of. Cargbo. Oh, you got options here. Please pass. Thank you. Warwick is a guy that can carry the ball. He's got Makuti. Plays a lovely ball. Nick, oh, I mean, I'm shocked he missed that. We are serving him up on a plate. That was great work from uh, Scorwick. Daria Henry. He's the latest driving runner. Oh, still Daria Henry. Warwick towards Cargbo! alley -oop! jumping reach on your doorstep how you doing they had no chance to stop that throw the oop 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 boom 
Oh, yeah. This is a dream ball for Cargbo, just right in front of the goal. All you got to do is win the header. Uh, yeah, this is going to get embarrassing for them. Perry Scorwick. He knew the ball he needed to play to Hamza Cargbo. Nice, Nico. And up the field. Can I dunk? I have dunked in my life. I can't dunk right now. Took an arrow to the knee in college. What Brady would have done if he didn't... <laughs> yeah, that's what Tom Brady would have done if he didn't slip in Germany. True. That was the catch he was going to make. Oh, Warwick looking for Cargbo. You got to play it to his forehead, man. You can't make him run onto it. It's an attempted murder by, ha by Cargbo. Hamza. Oh, here he is. Hamza Cargbo. The super tanker. That dude could block the Suez. Makuti. Oh, Scorwick! That's the Sally we're hitting. That's the Sally we're hitting. There's actually a video way back on my Instagram of me dunking that I find really funny because I look every bit of like 13. Let's see if we can find that. I mean, we are winning 6-0 right now. Every one of our three forwards has a goal. Huh. And find a video of me dunking. Seems like the most productive thing we could do right now. Well, that's my ball. Oh, you, Makuti. I thought you had it. Do, 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 do. Back into the annals of Zealand's Instagram history. No way, he's onside too. Guys, what? Guys! Oh, I found it. Behold! Very young Zealand. I know they just scored, but whatever. Really? That's... Okay, fine. I'll pause it. It'll bother me if the game's going on. Here is young Zealand. Throwing it down. Absolute yam right here. Video has no sound. Well, oh, that does. The elevation! That explosiveness! Get him in the league! Get him in the league, chat. Get him in the league. Look at that explosiveness. I like the other one comment. Who who was that? Oh, some is some. It was. Uh, oh my goodness, we just got a red. They got a red. Oh, okay, cool. That's that's better. Wild elevation. No, that, that comment is in the last two years. It's, it's what of you. What are you? Comeback's on, chat. No idea what we're doing on the back line there, but the comeback is very clearly on. Just want to watch this. See who I need to blame. Is it Malachi Reeve? I feel like it's going to be Malachi Reeve. Our midfield's definitely too far forward there. And this is, oh yeah, this is 100% Malachi Reeve. Just absolute idiot fest between him and Lawrence. The heck of a shot, too. I mean, it's an absolute beaut of a hit. Down a man, down five goals. Absolutely means nothing to Hungerford. Dude's running into the goal to pick the ball up. He wants more. Um, hmm. Stay focused. I'm worried about our slipping complacency. They have scored two consecutive goals. Yeah, our 6-0 lead in like 33 minutes might have engendered a little bit of complacency amongst the lads. Oh, this is not fair. Cargbo has 18 jumping reach. Get it near him. That's not Cargbo. Dang it, Kinsella. Bend it. This time, Cargbo, please. 
There's no way they have anybody on their team that can get close to him, and yet we've missed him twice. Kinsella, nice ball. Cheeky chip running towards the goal. I remember now you were on the Florida Gulf Coast team that made the Sweet 16. Yeah, absolutely, I was. I was part of Dunk City. Breakout star from this World Cup. I've recommended a couple of different people. Depends on what your definition of breakout star is. Ooh, nice pass. Makuti walking it in. Nick McCooney with five goals against Hungerford Town away. It's a special night for McCooney. Warwick, way to win that. Waddle, no, oh my God. Waddle? Oh, dude, if he scored that, it's the goal of his life. Waddle is an unskilled aerial first center back. That is an outrageous shot from somebody like that. Oh, pass it. I was really hoping you just hit that right to Makuti. Malachi Reeve, he understood the assignment. Warwick, great work. This is a goal. goal! He's going for Holland's nine. He's going for Holland's nine goals. He has six goals in this game. Two hat tricks. Warwick just holds his guy up, chips it across. McCooney knows what to do from there. I mean, it's a double hat trick for Nick McCooney. We've answered their two goals. Anybody? Uh, I know Wannell's probably somebody we should get, uh, we should get off. McCooney, I wouldn't take off if my life depended on it, but I'll take Wannell off. McCooney stays on. You have six goals. I'm not taking you off the field. Sorry. You have six goals. You're not coming out. I don't care if it makes resting sense. You're having one of the games of your life. Go see how many goals you can score. Oh, he's not going long. Oh, he is to nobody. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Kinsella. Oh, we just saw Cargbo's like sauntering back across the field. He should have been there. Oh, Cargbo? You look like a super tanker trying to shoot that. Get a nice long run up. Dude, we are so good. This is a rocket. Kinsella and the Vicuti nearly got to the rebound too. Everyone is crazy. Crushing the ball today. Crushing the ball. Oh, McCooty. How many times have we hit the post in this game, too? I mean, really. McCooty just speared the post again. That's our fourth. Thank you, chat, for keeping track. My assistant manager is really going to need that for the press conference. This is the beautiful lower league ball I've been looking forward to. Oh, Rob. I thought we were I thought we were okay. I thought we were gone, Rob. Now you guys are lucky our offense is good because we've given up three goals to Hungerford away. Some terrible giveaways, some really awful. We're just now recovering. When they we I have drop off on, but when they break our back line with that through ball behind the wing back. We don't react. Like, they react faster than we do. So they play that cross quickly. We're screwed. Wait, did that guy? I thought he had two. He has all three. Oh, he does. 
The most depressing hat trick of all time in which he scored his first of three goals when they were down six to nothing. Isaac Sijuade with a hat trick in an 8-3 defeat. I mean, there's no chance there's been a more depressing hat trick in the history of the sport than that. There's no chance. Warwick did have uh, a bunch of assists. He had one, two, he had three assists and a goal. And obviously McCudi had six goals. Cargbo had an assist. Antwi Kinsella and Daria Henry got the other assists. Cargbo also had a goal. Yeah, very, very well done. That was a comprehensive blowout. We conceded a hat trick to the opposition striker, and I still don't care because we won so convincingly. Good result. Who's our next match? Bath City. Man, we are just running through the middle of the league right now. Ryan Vigors, you are really good. You're really good. You would be the best striker in the league, I think. Based off what I've seen, you'd be the best striker in the league. This contract doesn't run out for a couple of years. Where's he at? Maidenhead United. Final Roman National League team's giving away three-year contracts now. Since when? Yeah, McCudi gets the record for goals in the game. Uh, let's take a look at the National League Golden Boot Race, where Nick McCudi has 15 goals in seven games. Stefan Payne has nine and seven, and he is convincingly out of the Golden Boot Race right now. Uh, Elva Fontaine, you are agreed playing time regular starter. Dude, you just started a match. What are you talking about? Let me see if I can make it disappear by changing his playing time the way the other one did. No? Oh, okay. Well, that stinks. Hi, Elva Fontaine. You get the playing time you want if you be patient. I don't want to cause problems, but I can't sit around and wait for tomorrow to come. I need to play more soccer. You wouldn't have said that sentence. Okay. okay. I think we're holding. Uh, we're upholding our previous two playing time agreements, so should be okay. <sighs> soccer. Unhappy with Hallard's loan agreement. Hi, Watling. He hasn't shown the uh, level of ability needed to play. Oof. And the coach accepted that? Well, I guess you're right. Fair. Thought we were fleecing you anyways. Hopefully you can change your mind. That is an oof. Coach just gave up on him like that. Ever tried a team in Denmark? I actually don't think I've ever managed in Denmark before. Z misses my question. I have a question. Uh, should I sign Elmo as Ali to fight for my starting striker spot? He would be on a free but cost quite a bit in wages. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't know what level you're at, but at almost any level, he's worth signing. His wages are high, though. The Qatari Stars League does not skimp on the wage bill. But yeah, I would do it. It's also for the vibe, too, because if he blows up for you to have, like, <laughs> an obscure... Oh, he commits his future to Taunton Town. Thank you, Sams. Awesome. Have an obscure national team player that just starts shredding for you. It just makes the save that much more memorable, you know? Rob Evans, you're upset. You see you on Lewis Kinshella, you're good. Lee Lucas, love you too. Zach Smith, you're just kind of sad in general, I think. Josh Hallard, I need more from you, Josh. Oh, he did get two. Daria Henry. A proper lad coming out of this mess of the opening part of the season. What's a good starter for someone who's completely new to FM? You want to pick a good team in a bad league. So Rangers or Celtic in Scotland, uh, Legia Warsaw in Poland, Dinamo Zagreb, in my opinion, is the best one in Croatia. They have just complete control of their league. There's a lot of leeway. You get to play in Europe right away. So that's like fun for you. Um, and there is a lot of, you know, you're not going to go get fired immediately, right? Because there's a ton of leeway in it. Uh, let's check the happiness on the playing time promises. Hallard's, on, oh, Hallard's the one that's making. I 
Falston and Lucas. Falston deserves an increase in playing time. Yes, yes. Well, Jay Falston, you get an opportunity to play today because we're basically running our full first team. Probably not for the first time. Where is Bradbury? Knee out. Um, Warwick out. Now we're running the serious Bradbury, McCoody, Cargbo lineup. The absolutely ridiculous lineup with three monster dudes. Kinsella, Lee Lucas, Antwi, Daria, Fulston, Nico, Lawrence, Malachi Reeve. I knew we were forgetting someone. Inga Pizzi, back into the team. All right. Who are we matching up with today? A team that's playing a nice packed-in formation? Well, we just absolutely massacred this formation like five days ago, so I'm feeling okay. Fans expect to win. Don't let them down. Here we go. Got to keep the pressure on them. Don't want complacency. Copenhagen, Salz Salzburg's a good recommendation in Austria. They were managed in Romania. I think briefly in a journeyman I did before I started making YouTube videos. I know, the McCoody considered a one and a half star by my staff is a great re example of why I shouldn't trust my staff, right? At what point in the English pyramid should I extend my scouting worldwide like the championship, I think? If you're settled into the championship, then worldwide scouting is what you can hope for. But I don't, I don't know. I've never done an English climber all the way from the sixth tier in the game. So this is my first time going through this experience. I will learn things along the way. Nico. Nico. Good ball, Nico. Fulston. Entwi. Cargbo. Oh, well, that was... That was a bad touch. That was a stupid foul. He's not running anywhere important. How well did Paxton Aronson's uh, play in the U.S.? All the hype and all that anybody in MLS circles is saying is that Paxton's better than his brother, who's Brendan Aronson on Leeds. So if you're an Eintracht Frankfurt fan, then I'd be happy with that signing because I'm sure he'll be the latest in a very long line of successful American transitions to Germany. Because Paxton seems to, he seems to have more confidence early in his career than Brendan does, from what I've seen. Yeah, he's, he's like good. He's totally going to be on the World Cup roster four years from now. Sounds good to me. Yep, there you go. Give me that. Nice, Daria Henry. McCooty, Bradbury. Knocking the ball down, knocking it all over. I'm interested to see how this plays out. This is the first time we get the Great Wall of Taunton up front. Lowest jumping reach strength combo is 13-13. And in the sixth division, that's illegal. That's ours. And as a result, any of these highlights could always turn into ours at a moment's notice because you just need to whack it up the field like that, and then it's just three on three. How are we losing that header? I never want to lose a header again. Cargbo. Twinkle toes. Cargbo! Bradbury! Oh. Lee Lucas. Nice aggressive touch. Good ball. Mm, that was a tweener of a pass. Way to battle, way to battle. Yes, way to battle. Daria Henry, this is a wild highlight. Cargbo, McCoody. Has there ever been a genuine American export to Europe? I don't know if I understand the question. McDonald's has been export exported quite a bit. Yes, true. Good point. 
I mean, what does that even mean? Like, that's why I didn't know. I just read the question out loud. And I was like, I don't know what that means. Dempsey was that dude. I think Tyler Adams has got a lot of that New York in him. He talks so much trash. If you're looking for somebody that just embodies the American spirit, if that's what you're talking about, he's off, clearly. Nice finish, though. I would go Tyler Adams. Which I, which IRL player do you think paved the way to Europe for other American players? I think the one, the guy that broke the dam was Christian Pulisic. He will always be the first American, like, wonder kid that actually came good on it, right? I mean, we're talking about it. Oh, yes, Antwi! Why are we crossing that? Oh, my goodness, Antwi. Just hit it really hard at the goal. He has passed instead of shoot as a player trait, but that is a tough time for that. I, I think, I, I mean, look, people will say, you, you know, Donovan obviously captivated in a brief time. Dempsey had a couple of massive years at Fulham and McBride did too. Oh, goodness, Kinsella. Thank you, Palmer. Way to close the distance. Um, bit of a mess of a game here against Bath City early on. Open at both ends, chances for both teams. But Polisic's the first, like, the dude was playing regularly for Dortmund at 17. I mean, that, like, Amer the Americans hadn't been that before, right? That is, that's, that's a space reserved for Spanish and German and English players and like, you know, Croatian players maybe where, oh, what a pass! Goal! The American players hadn't been that dude. And so Pulisic was the first one that really kicked that door down. He made a big money move to the Premier League and he's the first American player to make a big money move to the Premier League. That was a beautiful goal. Hopefully we can settle this game down now that we've got the goal in our back pocket. So I give credit to Pulisic. He, uh, he opened the door and then all of a sudden when Gio Reyna pops up, then people are, you know, Tifo makes a video like, why are there so many American youth players in Germany? And that opened that pipeline up and then Sargent and then McKinney and then Adams and Aronson, like all these guys. And then some guys that didn't do as well, like Pepe and, um, what was his name? The striker that was, I think Norwich bot. It's not Sosa, but it's like Soria or something. Oh, McCooney! Bobby Wood was, yeah, Bobby Wood, John Brooks, Fabian Johnson, Jermaine Jones. Those are a different generation, but like Americans playing in Germany is very common. I said Sergeant. Sebastian Soto. It was Sebastian Soto. He could just never break through at any team he was at. Focused. Don't allow complacency to creep in. Cargbo didn't like that. Duly noted for the future. Pepe's doing well at Greningen. He just had a tough start at Augsburg because he was like their club record transfer and just couldn't score. I mean, Pepe didn't even make the World Cup because of that, so... The U.S. exports its best talent, and I think the MLS has gotten really comfortable being a league. I think the U.S. aspires to be a league like the Dutch league, where the very best players go to a dither, you know, they go to the top leagues, but we hang on to everybody else. I think that's what we're looking for. Of course, McCudi has not played well after scoring six goals in the previous match. Uh, Kinsella, you're going to come off for Kamari Paris. Better defensive option on the left side. Paris is a missile taking the ball away from other people. And final substitute. Ngapizzi's not played well. Canelli Ngapizzi's going to come out for Jake Wannell. Can't we? Come on, Fulston. Throw your, throw your body around a little bit, Jake. Nice, Daria Henry. Run, Daria Henry. Run, Daria Henry. Turn him inside. Thank you. There you go, Warwick. What is Warwick doing back there? He's just making this massive recovery run defensively from center forward on advanced.
Oh yeah, Joe Scally's a good example. He's just, he's really been good at Mission Gladbach, but he's struggled to get into the national team. Does Death start for the national team? Yes. He's the starting right back when everybody's fit. Oh, Warwick. Where in the world is that going? <laughs> he just smashed it into orbit. Here we go. Warwick, Bradbury, Bradbury. Oh yes, it's Harvey Bradbury. I remember watching Alfonso Davies in MLS. He was so good. He was playing like wing. That was a lovely finish by Bradbury. I did not think he was gonna put that one away. There you go. Oh. Oh. Give me that. What do you make of James Sands? Oh, he's like American John Stones, right? He, in theory, is a tall confident on the ball central defender or anchor man at the back of your midfield in in practice it, he just seems to make mistakes too often right and you hope that that's the sort of thing that you can iron out or that he can iron out of his game but it hasn't happened yet does ccv stop yeah i i think the starting no 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 Cameron Carter Vickers does not start. The starting center back pairing will be Walker Zimmerman and Tim Ream at the World Cup. It'll be Walker Zimmerman and Tim Ream. How are we not top of the league? We have won six of the first eight matches and drawn the other two. What is this nonsense that Chippenham Town is up to? This nonsense. Sit down. Oh, but thank you, Fitz. Now they're going to start Walker and Tim Ream. I like Cameron Carter Vickers, but he's really just gotten himself into the national team picture. Miles Robinson, who was a beloved starter on the national team, tore his Achilles like four months ago. So the center back pairing has been a little bit up in the air. Yeah, Cameron Carter Vickers does not start the u.s he wasn't in the team for a long like honestly until right when he broke through at celtic like in the last 12 months he was not in the national team at all he had like maybe five or six caps that popped up randomly it, it, you know at like the gold cup when maybe we didn't have our full team called up or something but he was not he was more of him and eric palmer brown who plays in france they were the center back pairing at an under 20 world cup that the u.s did pretty well at and so they were hyped as potential future guys, but they'd never really gotten in. Eric Palmer Brown's not in the team uh, for the World Cup. Cameron Carter Vickers and Eric Palmer Brown were the hyped guys. Devante Aransibia. All right. Tillman does have potential. Who won MLS? Uh, LAFC. Gareth Bale, who wins the trophy everywhere he goes, won. <laughs> of course, Gareth Bale won. He scored like the most important goal in LAFC history with eight, you know, eight minutes into stoppage time of the second half of extra time. Oh, it's the FA Cup draw with like a million teams in it. Who did we get? Bashley. Okay, good. Dude, we want to play. We want to play bad teams. <laughs> so we got Bashley first. That's fine. Elva Fontaine, not happy at no longer being a regular starter. Yeah, I'm aware. I was surprised you hadn't come to me yet. 
Uh, I'm in the best form. No fitness levels, and I. Insulted. Okay, cool. We might have to move on from Fontaine. You know, with all the signings we made, we're not going to be able to keep everybody happy, and now Alva Fontaine's kicking up a fuss. Hmm. And the promise thing is broken. It's not showing what promises you'd want to have satisfied, but... It's showing his training ground promise. So we have Hallard, Fulston, and Lucas are going to be happy in 31 days. I'm not worried about that. Hallard's not going to be happy, but I don't really care. What I am concerned about is that there are people in the locker room that are agreeing with a guy that just got here. That doesn't sit well with me. Except for Spurs. I know you see the graphic where like he's won at least one trophy every year except for all the years he was at Spurs. What are your predictions for the U.S. the guitar? It's actually funny you should mention that. Because before the end of the stream today, I will be picking the entire World Cup every match on stream. Here we go. Oh, I just actually started a video of me dunking again. Should probably turn that off. So what do we, what should we do, chap? What should we do? Should we pick the score of each game? I think we should do that because this is like the bracket challenge. I don't think we should, because this is like who's going to win the group and everything. I think we should pick the score of each game. No, I'm going to full screen it. I am. Yeah. I'm going to pick the score of each game. So I think we're going to save Peacocks. Right now, oh, whoop, whoop, did it, did it. Peacocks are native to England. Save it up. We've had an excellent start to the season. We knew we, knew we were going to get into the season today. And not only did we get into the season, we played eight matches. Um, is there a place where you can do that? Why is this so hard to find? I feel like everybody and their mother would have this. Is this it? This is 538. I don't think it's it. Dude. Thank you, Isle. Okay. We're gonna pretty we're, we're gonna pick every score of every match. That's what we're gonna do. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um on the live channel, bye.